play them in in real life. Um, one of my favorite short-lived characters was a conjurer wizard um, because uh, the minor conjuration uh, feature of the conjurer wizard, unlike the creation bard, isn't limited by gold piece value. It's just limited by the fact that you have to sort of be able to sort of either envision it or have seen it before and um, it not be magical. But poison in D and D five E isn't magical, so I played a uh, high dex, high int wizard with a heavy cr with with a crossbow um, that used to uh, regularly summon up rare and powerful poisons <laughs> and just put yeah. them on the crossbow. <laughs> well, we we were playing Hidden Shrine of Tomoa Chan, so I figured like you know. All bets were off anyway, and I needed to play something that could actually, like, kill shit. Um, so I was just like, well, okay, so what happens if I put Lich Dust on? Like, what happens if I Minor Conjuration Lich Dust? And my, my DM quite reasonably was like, yeah, that's magical. And I was like, fair, fair. Why even poison that? <laughs> I just just dollop this on and uh, oh look they're dead. <laughs> oh, all, all, all for yep. a all for a handy dandy feature that I could just keep doing. Oh, this is great. Um, Any DMs just sitting there face palming so hard? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think they got I think they got a little tired of it. They did they did it did seem like the intensity of people trying to kill me, you know, increased considerably <laughs> after they realized that I could produce this wyvern poison at will and no less give it to the fighter I think that was what was really the the, the, the real problem there was it wasn't it wasn't me occasionally pot shotting with this crossbow it was the fact that I could give it to the fighter who could like action search to sort of make sure they hit someone with it that was that, that was the point where they were like hey, I'm done with this bullshit let's kill this wizard <laughs> um <sighs> I, 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 I think, um, incidentally, Marie, I think in answer to your question, I think you should do both. Both is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, so how much is a poisonous snake? <laughs> ah, that is a good question. <laughs> Sounds um, like poisonous snake. Uh, so. No, no, you misheard something. Yeah, no. You, yeah. Uh, uh, I need more pets. Yeah, right. M Marie meant uh, completely harmless non-venomous snake pre snake Af Go. after they have <laughs> like been... a plush snake right 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 after they have mil been milked for all the poison that they have i mean what huh yeah. what <laughs> who said that uh yeah so hello guys um uh we are live now the internet can hear all of your dastardly plots and plans uh oh i should say that. i should tell the discord that we're live as well hold on uh Discord. Oh, hello, internet. We are the lives now. On. We are the lives now. We are the lives <laughs> we now. Yeah, we are. The I... youth of the nation. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like an uh, it sounds like an arcade fire lyric. Um, feels like I'm going to be going on about reflectors and everything now. Um, we are the lives now on TNT five eight seven. You know this. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash Morap. Cool. So, uh, hello. Uh, first things first, uh, Vincent, if you're watching this later, Henry, uh, we hope you're okay, man, um, and that uh, uh, you're able to get relief uh, for uh, your pain and uh, that you're back to join us next week. Uh, I will try my best not to kill Vincent in the interim. Uh, in fact, uh, what may end up happening is, uh, as and when you guys get off this boat, Vincent may end up disappearing to do some of his own investigations uh, for the interim. And then maybe uh, next week, uh, if, if you're back, Henry, uh, you can come in and be the big damn hero to save people. Uh, or not, because I'm sure the party are going to extricate themselves from danger with alacrity in a way that causes them to be extremely safe. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. Great. Hey, great. I'm glad glad we're all agreed on that one. Uh <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking, Marie? <laughs> oh, no, I was just listening. Right. Didn't think anything. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. What wait, why do I smell burning? <laughs> <laughs> so Marie is still upstairs. Oh. 
Oh, no. I don't do fire. Uh, I don't do fire. True, true. Also, she did come down. Ev everybody has come downstairs at the moment. Although mm -hmm. Elizabeth is lingering near the stairs currently, because again, uh, I, I was uncertain quite how to roleplay uh, you guys in in last week's situation. But I kind of had Alros just uh, be a uh, big faceless Tormtar uh, and as menacing as possible without saying anything at all to to sort of. Uh, be, be as neutral as possible, but also as menacing as possible in the face of, you know, devil kind. Uh, and I had Elizabeth be like, yeah, I'm kind of here, but at the same time, I'm I'm kind of not here for the shit that's going down right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. I don't know those, those guys. Like, yeah, right, uh, that was what, that? I mean, that was what Ashen was going Literally. <laughs> I was here to do business. I don't know what they guys are all Pre about. Precisely, right? precisely. This crazy guy, what, what's he shouting about? The watch? No, I don't know this guy. Um, yeah, yeah, that was... Uh, so that was... That was I, I, I don't know. Al Ross, you can feel free to uh, have changed your reaction. If you wanted to go balls to the wall, draw great swords and uh, back, back Vincent's play, I don't know if that was what what you would have preferred to have done just to give you um, some, just to give you some context though that there, there are like four or five fairly burly looking armed people in this room uh, a kenku bartender who is obviously the most dangerous person of all a spined devil uh that seems to be sort of working for amrik and amrik himself who uh looks like an extremely friendly individual with um too many knives so I don't know if you wanted to try and arrest arrest this man, but uh... Uh, just my reaction for what it was worth was we we didn't really have any warning or any idea. Mm. We didn't know about these documents, or I didn't. Phil sure. didn't, so I think Ashen did. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. All yeah. Of a shock, really. Um, Oh no! I thought your I thought your in character reaction was perfectly reasonable, um, and uh, uh, for, furthermore, had I been playing your character, I, I would have done something similar. I suspect. <laughs> so, so please don't please don't take it as me uh, being like. Uh... <laughs> I, I, did, I did put some thought into it, and I thought, well, being chaotic, good. Maybe I would have liked the whole mess. But... <laughs> well. Uh... <laughs> I think it's up to your characters what you like, um, but yeah, no. Al, Al Ross, do you, do you think you would have? Do you think you you would have backed like such a forceful play, or, or do you think you would have? It didn't look like the rest of the party were backing it. If that again, if that makes a difference. No, I, and did we have? I guess did we have a plan coming in here? The initial plan was okay. well, <laughs> you did. The initial plan was reconnaissance. Um, you, you were you were here to reconnoiter this place. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know how I don't know how much Loki listened to that plan, but uh... <laughs> yeah, gonna, that that never works out. Yeah, we're just gonna take a look. We're not gonna we're just right. looking. Yeah, yeah, that was that was yeah. I mean, that was what I was thinking as a DM. But but nevertheless, uh, the the initial plan was reconnaissance, and then you were gonna once you ascertained that Amrik was here, that your your target was here, you were gonna come back later with Mortlock um, when you met him for breakfast at the Alpha Song Tavern the next day, you were going to come back with him, uh, with his muscle and with his connections and try and take Vamric, uh, try and learn what Amric knows and then uh, uh, potentially, depending on what your characters wanted to do, take him for Zodge um, because Zodge wants him. Um, but uh, no, the initial plan was reconnaissance one way or another though even if we go with the uh slight dial back of uh, the the play with vincent sort of sitting down and uh, uh, loki and anyone else who wants to join him joining amrik for a convivial conversation um you we have committed to amrik knows where you are and who you are now so uh, we've definitely committed that far it's not reconnaissance anymore <laughs> Yeah, so I think Alros is gonna stick with the way that you were playing him for now. Okay. Cool. Um, feel free to, obviously, now that you're here, do whatever the hell Alros would do. Uh, for now, though, then, in which case, if you're sticking with that, uh, like I said uh, to you guys, I think what we're gonna do is instead of Vincent uh, sitting down with Amric, uh, Amric will be like, 
I will talk to any and all polite, interested potential customers of my business, be that information or money, but I won't talk to this bore of a watchman who has no evidence anyway and, frankly, no legal right to actually take me into custody. But I am happy to cooperate with like-minded individuals of business. Hmm. Well, I think you heard him. I think you should uh, step back here, friend. Vincent uh, splutters uh, for a few moments, glances around at the rest of you, and then just sits down, puts his fist on the bar, glares at the Kenku, who very quickly starts fixing fixing him a drink. Uh, looks frustrated. The uh, the thugs around you all, uh, including the uh, red-haired ponytail thug Valtus, uh, at the bar, uh, relax a little bit. Um, the uh, spined devil that sat down uh, with Ashen, uh, sort of perching on the couch, uh, grins a very sort of pointy grin at you, Ashen and uh, raises a, a glass of black liquid as if like to cheers you and I'll cheer him back <laughs> I'll, I'll bottoms up in him so. bottoms up <laughs> yes. as, it, as it drinks it there's like a hissing uh, a vapour that like rises out of its mouth But yeah, so uh, basically, uh, uh, with that, um, uh, if any of you wish to, to speak to Amrik Van Thamper, one of the favoured children of the Van Thamper family, it seems he's willing to grant you an audience. Or you can be like, now nah, we're good. <laughs> Just sort of turn around and maybe leave. Maybe he'll let you leave. Who knows? Loki uh, swells his wine, sits back in front of uh, Amrik. So, you know why we're here now. I mean, I was going to go the more polite and casual route with this, but now you know why we're here. My question to you is, do you like what your mother is planning to do? I mean, it seems like you got quite the lucrative business here, and what she's planning to do is going to make a massive dent in your plans. Hmm. Okay. As he looks at you very thoughtfully when you take that tap, uh, just in case, you know, where, where is everybody else in the room at this point? I'm at the stairs. I don't know, I'm flirting with the thought that's like at the staircase, <laughs> like, ho like holding open my possible flight, uh, like my outside route. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, give me give me a deception check to uh, uh, it, it, pretend that you're interested in this thug uh, so that they're distracted enough that they won't take an attack of opportunity if you have to make a break for it yeah okay so uh, they're 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 very um, they're very flattered uh, by the attention mm. of such a such a highborn lady um, uh, I'll buy him a drink I'll, I'll go and buy him a shot or something. Oh my god! Yeah, the, the this this thug will will die for you probably. <laughs> 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 they they start singing Uptown Girl at you. It's 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 yeah. cringe. It's massive cringe. Um, <laughs> my poker face is good. 
It is with a 24. That's true. Hiding the urge to stab. I mean, what? Um, Alros, do you think you're moving forward with Loki, staying where you are? It's the wrong music. Um, this is the right music. I think I'll probably stay where I am. I have a, I think, a good view of the entire room here, and I'm back by Ashen. So, sure, yeah, makes sense. And I presume Ashen, you're. Yeah. Uh, are you sticking with the devil, uh, or are you you moving over to Loki? Never the devil, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I might sort of be like that. For what it's worth, I will have a cantrip ready to go if things look. Ooh, okay, sure. Are you trying to sort of conceal that, but it's like have have like a like a firebolt charged or something? No, maybe just. You know, I'm on heightened alert for any thing, and then it would be acid splash. Sure, makes sense. Makes sense. Um, okay. In which case, yeah, okay. It, hmm. Ash, give me a persuasion roll. Oh God. Yeah. Plus four is pretty good. Uh, Why? Why did you roll off that 17? I was halfway through saying plus four is pretty decent. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, give me an insight roll as well. God. That one? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Um, well, just gonna press this button. Oh, that's terrible. So you I see. Yeah, you guys didn't see it, but Loki. I, 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 I... Oh, go ahead. No, I just want to say Loki is a person that's like, everybody loves me, but actually they don't. <laughs> I don't know, it's a minus one to insult. Loki, okay, Loki. Oh, 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 honestly, <laughs> yeah. I was going to yeah. say, oh, honestly, very, yeah, uh, in comparison to MCU Loki, very in character, very in character, very charismatic, terrible at reading people. Um... Yeah. Okay. So normally Van, Th Van Thamper is uh, quite quite deceptive. He's a he's a wily snake himself. Um, but uh, he rolled a one on his deception. So uh, your question catches him a little off guard. Ash, uh, uh, Loki, you think uh, you think he was sort of bracing himself and sort of c concocting lies in his mind. Uh, to uh, deal with you in the same way that he uh, was planning on lying through his teeth to this investigator uh, who was about to sit down to this uh, to det detective Silvermane uh, that was all up in his business. Um, but yeah, your question catches him a little off guard. And he says... Um, I... I confess that I fear that my mother's he glances towards the devil which is sort of flaring its spines and looking at him my mother's plans with my brother putting emphasis on brother Leave me uh, a little concern. You're well, not. Yeah, he looks at you. No, you continue. Sorry. You're not wrong that I do have a worthy business operation here. That it would be a shame to lose, but I have been assured of considerably, and again he glances at the devil, greater reward. What, in, in hell? Where we're planning to be sent? I mean, oh. what great reward is there? I mean, where... If this place leaves this plane people ain't gonna be after loans or information 
They're gonna be running and screaming for their lives. I mean, you may have a couple of bodyguards here, but I don't think anyone will want the protection of your spiny devil friend here because they'll be too busy running away. More likely to lose customers. I mean, we're all here for profit, right? We all love money. Speaking of which, um, what language are you conducting this conversation in? Because uh, you know he knows Infernal. I yeah, don't I don't know, know Infernal. I was going to say, I don't know if Does you he... know Infernal. <laughs> okay, so this is yep, common then. Common. Okay. In which case, yeah, the, the said thugs, said hired thugs, are definitely looking awkward. Um, the uh, Aside from the one that, that Elizabeth is uh, very nicely distracting, currently. Um, uh, the... Sleepy-eyed, previously sleepy-eyed um, uh, leader of them is now listening to this conversation intently. Um, Amrik himself is sweating a little bit as you just sort of casually reveal <laughs> uh, uh, intimate knowledge of uh, their master plan. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Did your friends not know? I mean, I'm not here to cause issue with your company or business uh, or whatever you want perhaps but we should have another drink before we continue this conversation and at this point um ash you can retry that insight and uh uh auros ashen elizabeth you can all roll insight as well how quiet is it in here? Like, could like, we hear what they're talking about? Or yes, like, very much so. Like, there, there, there is. More, when there... he's sorry, go ahead. Yeah, because he 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 set like plans with my brother. How many brothers are there? Like, ah, is it just three. two sons? There are three. Okay. Uh, there's uh, okay. uh, Mortlock, uh, Amric, yeah, and Thirstwell. Okay. Uh, Thirstwell's the imp manipulator. Who um, Ashen has seen uh, being a demagogue uh, to the nobles. Um, doo -doo -doo. Wait, wait, wait! I got a handout that you've seen before. Uh, this guy. Re Rebel. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Really, really charismatic looking. Uh, Tim Burton character. Right there. I was gonna say, definitely not Grima Wormtongue. Um, and, uh, they're all the sons of, uh, Duke Thalamra, uh, the, uh, the Duchess, uh, who is, uh, masterminding this whole thing, apparently. Um... Just go up Yeah, you know. just casually. Um, okay, so with those roles, uh, yeah, okay. So, Elizabeth, perhaps because you're, uh, over where you are... Uh, you don't have a clear sight line to what he's looking at. You get the impression he's looking. He glances at someone again, like, nervously, but you don't see who it is. Um, everyone else, Ashen, Alros, and uh, and Loki. Uh, I keep going, sorry, man. Uh, and Loki. Uh, when he interrupts you at this point, um, uh, Loki, uh, the three of you get the impression that he does have concerns about his mother's plan. And he is willing to discuss them with you, but he keeps glancing at the devil that is present in the room. Mm -hmm. And you get the distinct impression that he would be freer to discuss such matters and um, perhaps more inclined to potentially say treacherous conversation and information divulging were it not for the fact that there is literally uh, a, a devil from the hells present in the room currently go to the toilet <laughs> I agree maybe we should have another round of drinks maybe there's somewhere private that you and I can discuss things more private than having all your uh, friends here. I'm sure my friends will keep them occupied, well, entertained. 
Uh, yes, perhaps, uh... Perhaps you would like to take a stroll along the dock side. Oh, it sounds like a lovely time. Uh, at which point, um... Uh, Voltus, the the uh, the leader of the, the sort of hired bodyguards, says, uh, "Libations for everyone." Uh, and the the Kanku bartender starts mixing drinks very very fast. But <laughs> at, uh, <laughs> at the same time, uh, uh, Kashara, the spined devil, flutters over and says, "Ah, yes, a moonlight stroll sounds delightful." I'll accompany you, Amric, darling. <laughs> Could I, like, when they, you know, start mixing drinks and shit, like, mm. come forward and, like, while the devil is, like, walking over to Aldric, devils speak infernal, right? I always they do yes. twist around the, okay, and in infernal say drinks and entertainment for everyone and see if I can get his attention, like... Oh yeah, like distract. distract them with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, give me, give me another deception roll. Like emphasis on the everyone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, they're gonna need a twenty. Decent. Are they gonna get a twenty. Um, they got a twenty-two. Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, no. That's mine. <laughs> uh, their, their whispered, their whispered roll was a six. Uh, so as you as you say that, um, uh, Elizabeth, uh, the devil's sort of head turns, and uh, it, it sniffs as if like a creature sense sensing prey, and says, "On the other hand, oh, actually, on the other claw, perhaps I will stay here and enjoy the entertainment." And that last part is in Infernal. Looking at uh, Elizabeth. Yeah. Okay. I'll like dance and sing and whatever. I don't know. Maybe I know some devilish like one hit wonders <laughs> from hell. I don't know. Um, uh, Elizabeth jumps up on the table and starts uh, belting out burn baby burn disco and yeah. burn. <laughs> but in... Like ring of fire or something you know. Just <laughs> Mm. Yeah, yeah, all, all all devils are very strong fans of Johnny Cash. <laughs> I mean, they've got the Man in Black soul now in their pocket, so yeah, obviously, yeah. Uh, sure. Either way, that does distract the devil. Um, they they flutter they flutter back over uh, to their seat and sort of look 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 interestedly at uh, Ash and Elizabeth and uh, Alros and not so much at Vincent as if. As if sort of expecting you to entertain it while while uh, while the drinks are served, um, you know. Shall we go? Yeah, <laughs> Amrick sort of steps up quickly, looking a little relieved, and uh, uh, will uh, lead Loki out uh, through the bar uh, up to the the top deck of the ship. Um, Auros, Ashen, are you staying below, or uh, are either of you going with Loki? Uh, I'm still staying below, I think. I'll okay, follow. guys. I got this. Okay, okay. And, uh, sorry, what was that, Phil? I'll stay. I'll try and entertain, uh, yeah, together with, um, Elizabeth, I'll try and keep the demon entertained. Sure. It's a duet. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, you know what I'll do? Is is I'll I'll drop my disguise self and I'll open my wings and say, "Come ah, dance with me." Okay, okay. Well, they leave, kind of thing, you know, to distract as a additional distraction. Sure. Uh, can can you hear us now? Uh, Marie? I think she just disconnected from oh. Discord. Well, uh, yep, yeah. nope, no. Nope. 
Uh, in which case, yeah, so you unfurl your wings. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. In which case, while Marie can't hear us anyway, um, uh, just really quickly, uh, because of spooky spoiler secrets, um, Ash, Phil, do you mind deafening yourselves for a moment? I just need to have a word with Ken about something spooky. All right, cool. Um, nice. And uh, hey, Marie, can you hear us now? Yes, I'm back. Cool. I got to like put my charger in. No worries. Completely understand the feeling. It stares at half charged phone. Um, just for a moment, I need to have a quick spooky spoiler secret word with Ken. Do you mind deafening very quickly if that's okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. No problem. Uh, I'm going to call that that from now on. <laughs> all right cool so real quick that is an interesting question i was still thinking about that if i'm perfectly honest but ah yeah so no no that's a really uh, it's, a, it's a really interesting prompt um uh go ahead go ahead no so i i was just gonna say if the reason i'm, I'm thinking about it is because i if he thinks he can get any information from this devil at all, mm -hmm. I, I'm going to try. But right mm -hmm. now, I don't even have any questions to ask the devil. Okay. Like, hey, do you know my parents? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But if I if I have yeah. the devil's you know name or uh, something. Uh, you, would, you would have a name. Um, you would be almost certain, based on what you learned in the the, the libraries and um, the books of law uh, in the archives of Torm of the the temple, um, you'd be almost certain that it wasn't its true name, because they're very very cautious about giving out true names. Sure. Um, but you would have a name, yeah, uh, as Drubael, which I will put in your Discord. Okay. Uh, and a um, uh, a sort of um, a title as well, uh, the Reaper of Reputations. Um, further, uh, you know uh, that there were an, a number of devils in this creature's employ, um, including spined devils. So uh, even if um, even if this one wasn't. Uh, it's not like hell. The hells are a big place, a bigger place maybe than right. than than Auros, uh sort of comprehends. But it is possible that from your from Alros's perspective, you think it's possible that this devil could have information uh, regarding right. what and went down. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it, I think just again for clarification, this would be. The first time Alros has ever seen a devil in person. Right. Yeah, I mean, that, that yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Um, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do Do you need anything else from me? No, I I don't think so. Yeah. If you do, just I I'm, I may you know. act on it right now, or yeah, I, I'll, I'll figure it out as we go through. But we're good to carry on right now. Cool. Cool. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no worries, man. Oh, kitty. It does both. <laughs> okay. What is love? Baby, don't <laughs> hurt me. Um, yeah, so, uh, all right, now that we've discussed how, uh, our Ross is gonna, uh, inevitably betray the party, um, <laughs> love it. It's now I throw Kill the beans it. on the floor now. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> One of them. Uh, he worked out that the devil's immune to fire damage, but the you guys aren't! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Who does have the bag of beans? Like, does Alros have the bag of beans? <laughs> Are you sure? Nope. I mean, I don't. Ashen does. No, Ashen does. Yeah, right. Yep, right, right. Ashen does. Right, okay, okay, okay. Our magic item person has. True. 
seems yeah. Uh, yeah right yeah because there was a conversation about vincent once again yeah right right, 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 right. Yeah. i i remember i feel like would have gone terribly oh my god <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in this in this situation here oh Sweats. I do have to admit, when we had the conversation about the bag of beans, I was going to slide them, hand them off you. Nice. And then I'm like, no. Nice. 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 <laughs> Let's just leave them with the artificer. Seems seems, seems wise, honestly. Seems wise. I'm still thinking we can make a bomb out of them. <laughs> okay. Well, um, you know who you could ask about making uh, uh, fiery bombs? This devil. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, uh, sad, okay. sad, sad, sad devil sort of uh, looks at you all. Uh, the Kenku brings around uh, shots uh, for, for all of you, like a tray of shots. Uh, and uh, uh, the spined devil just kind of grins. Uh, a, a spiky grin um, at all of you and says, Well, we've got ourselves a party. Tell. I mean, I'll, I'll take a glass. Yeah. Not uh, like, yes, I do, but barely has begun, you know. Like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Especially what? since it's not even night time. Today drinking. <laughs> That's right. It's like you guys came two here. In the yeah, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> uh, I was like, well, yeah. okay, so who who is here at two o'clock in the afternoon? Okay, like a third of the people that would normally be. Yeah, uh, makes sense. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it says day drinking. Yeah, <laughs> knocks one back. Um, look, looks over at Ashen and says, "That is a fine pair of wings you have there, my friend." I'll I'll preen my wings and and smile, sort of beguilingly. Uh, it, gr <laughs> it grins back at you in a very ugly, not at all beguiling fashion. Uh, reaches down to a pouch on a on a belt that it sort of wears on like a like a, it's like a rawhide belt that it sort of loops around its waist, um, and pulls out a very strange looking coin. Uh, puts it down in front of you. It's got a skull on it, and it seems to sort of vibrate slightly as if not quite there uh it's uh silver in color i'll give you one soul coin for them oh. uh, <laughs> could explain, i make a check explain to me why what the advantage of that would be it cocks, to me. Its, it cocks its head at you and says, Ah, you are, you've not been to the hells then. Uh, Elizabeth, you could make a check. Anyone here could make a check. Uh, you can give me an arcana or a religion check to know what a soul coin is. Oh, I actually have art for this. So, hold on just a second while I hide all of the spoiler stuff. In the later modules, they've gotten better at putting the uh, the magic item stuff in GM layer until you can reveal it. But yeah, uh, okay. So this coin that he's put on the the spine devil has put on the table uh, looks like this. Uh, it seems to vibrate slightly, as if it's not quite there. It's about five inches across, so quite big um, for a coin. About an inch thick. Uh, it's made from a kind of iron that you don't recognize. Um, uh, looks like it weighs about a third of a pound and has infernal writing on it uh, that has a name on there. Um, and said name is, uh, in this case, uh, Valak. Uh, with those rolls, uh, Elizabeth, you've heard of soul coins uh, with a 13. Uh, you think that they're like, they are in some sort of infernal currency. Um, but 
you don't know much about them. Um, like they're 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 coveted in the underworld of Baldur's Gate, um, along with other kinds of rare uh, coinage, just in case you they need to deal with beings like this for some reason. Um, mm. Ashen and Alros with a seventeen and nineteen respectively. Alros, you have to sort of think about it for a second, uh, but you have read about these and. Uh, Ashen, you, you have read about these more recently, so it doesn't take you quite as long to remember. Um, soul coins are uh, precisely uh, what you might expect them to be. They are a coin that contains a soul. Um, more specifically, though, uh, that they're a bit more than that, as you might expect. Um, soul coins uh not only bind a magical soul uh to a coin uh, but they have certain uses both inside and outside of the hells in like inside and outside of the hells uh, like regardless of where you are uh you can use them um to uh you can drain the energy of the soul within to grant yourself temporary vigor um, they have a number of charges, and you have the ability to sort of drain the life of the soul within uh, to gain vigor. Uh, or um, you can uh, communicate both empathically while you are carrying the coin um, and uh, telepathically if you use some of its charge to actually like ask questions of the soul contained within the coin. Uh, obviously, it's more helpful if you know what or who the soul is in the coin, so you know whether or not it might be able to help you with your question, but nevertheless, you, you can do that. Further, theoretically speaking, you have a soul coin. Uh, if you cast a spell that removes a curse on a soul coin, you can free them. Um, some good aligned religions, uh, again, like Torm's religion, trade for soul coins sometimes or take soul coins more likely from infernal cults and then free the souls within it um lastly uh the main thing that they can be used for is in the hells and with devils they are one of the prized currencies uh devils will consider soul coins to be considerably more valuable than gold or silver although they do like electrum because they're evil um and because it's cool uh d d yeah, normal normal sort of like mortal coinage is uh less valuable to devils but soul coins uh you can use uh amongst the infernal hierarchy to barter for favors bribe unwilling devils to do things that they wouldn't normally do reward faithful uh for services rendered they're created by mammon um, the devil of currency and exchange and economics, infernal economics, uh, on the third layer of the hells. Um, and, uh, they're, they're like the, they're like the US dollar of the hells. You can use them to buy almost anything. And they, they don't depreciate quite as much in value as other types of exchange. Isn't all economics infernal? Anyway. <laughs> that is a philosophical question that we could spend the entire stream talking about. <laughs> but yes. But, so Ash is going to try and deceive this demon, right? Ash is going to try and what, sir? Deceive the demon. Okay. So this is you do not want to give up your wings for a soul coin. Sorry? Do you not want to give no. up your wings for a soul coin? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised. So, so he, 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 well, he's going to say, mm -hmm. you know, what, what's the value of that to me? While he desperately kind of works out what to do. So he's trying to buy time. Really. Sure. Uh, so, uh, like I said, uh, the, the devil in turn says, you haven't been to the hells, then. This... No. You, no. Could, you could use this to buy something greater. 
than a mere pair of beautiful wings. And I mean, you don't even use them anyways, do you? You always hide them, kind of a shame. Oh. I'll just, you know, fall in his back. <laughs> that is true. I'll, I'll look at Elizabeth. Uh, so where is she? She's there. Mm -hmm. I, I want to look at her and wink as long as the... Yeah, yeah, thing. absolutely, yeah. Uh, the the um, devil is looking at her as well, so you, you can wink when he's looking away. So, uh, and then I'll... I'll um, and then I'll say, you know, my my wizard teacher, um, he he uh, did tell me some stuff about this, which was very interesting. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, uh, I want to do some magical tinkering, but I want it to look like I'm casting a spell. Okay. Yeah. And We'll we'll take part of your arcana check as being you do that, uh, doing that, and and so then, you, you know, I, I'm I'm at the end of the spell. I'm going to say so. So what? Show us what you bring, coin, and and then the coin's going to glow. The devil looks momentarily a little alarmed. That's that's not and what they normally do. <sighs> and then the words, "I bring doom." will appear on the coin. Ah! It, it sort of snatches up the coin quickly and puts it back in the pouch. Never mind! Uh, uh, and, and then I look at him and I say, Better you have that coin than me. I've read about those particular soul coins. They're not healthy to have around you. He, he, he sort of like looks at you, disturbed, pulls the soul coin out, uh, and, and in the same way that like you might like... Uh, take a piece of tech that isn't working properly and just kind of slap it against your palm as if that's going to do something to it. He, he just kind of slaps the soul coin against the palm, against his uh, claw, and then against the table, like, is this thing on? Is this working properly? So... <laughs> uh, I'll say, um, uh, um, my master might be able to fix it for you or might be able to stop you from being doomed, but it's beyond my capabilities. It looks genuinely concerned. Uh, so at this point, you are going to need the deception roll. Uh, it feels like it. It feels like it would have noticed if it was doomed. Um, okay, all right. Uh, mm -hmm. so, well, it's opposed, you know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It uh, <laughs> looks at Ash and genuinely a bit disturbed at this point and says. Ah, I'll be fine, thanks. But you, you can say you can see that it's sort of preying on its mind that uh, it might have accidentally picked up a genuinely cursed coin. Uh, oh, oh that, that that imp is gonna get it. <laughs> so. I'll say I'll say in infernal. It's been really nice knowing you. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'll, I'll mention behind him too. Um, be like, yeah, the Torm Tars, we won't even touch those. Looks at, looks at you a bit disgustedly, like, ugh, Torm Tars. But then thoughtfully, you know what? Excuse me. I have an imp that I need to ask some pointed questions of. I'll uh, be right back. And uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna it's gonna flutter, um, like up the, up the stairs. Um, Amric and Loki, while you're having your dis this discussion, uh, you will notice the spined devil fly uh, out of the uh, the sort of uh, the deck, uh, but it ignores you completely and flies off into the night, into the city, as if on a mission. Well, looks like we're uh, free and clear for now. Hmm. Uh, as you say that, Amric sort of pulls out like a, a dainty handkerchief, mop, mops his brow slightly. The handkerchief has the symbol of a dagger on it. The man's got a brand, you know. Um, and uh, looks back at you and says, Yes. Tell oh. me, how did you come by your 
intimate knowledge of my mother's plans? Was it Mortlock? Has he, has he thoroughly betrayed us? Well, after your mother sent your cult to kill him, yes. Ah. But can you blame him? Well, that's awkward. Mm. But, you know, he does have an issue, and he's pretty upset. So, I mean, you want to keep your business open. He wants to ruin the family and I mean I'll give you this piece of information for free he wants to crush your skull right now so yes that's not unusual for him but I I imagine he wants to crush it even more currently oh yeah 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 well, well he wanted us to help but mm. in our better judgment I thought well we thought we'd come speak to you directly I mean you're a businessman. I'm a freelancer of sorts. Oh. He looks at you thoughtfully. I mean... He looks at you even more thoughtfully and says, Perhaps I can pay you to kill him. Possibly. Oh. He, he looks surprised that he said possibly for that. Well, that that is definitely a matter that I would be willing to discuss. I mean, you and I both know everyone has their price. Yes, don't they just? Isn't it fantastic? He sort of smiles the, the smug smile he has and sort of tugs at his mustache slightly. You know, full full camp villain. Um, but I mean, this whole, you know, business of yours, killing your brother, it's pretty much mute unless we prevent this place from going to the hells. I mean, you'll be in the hells as well, getting swallowed by no your friend that just blew away. No, let me disabuse you with that. on that notion, my friend. I will not actually be in the Hells if my mother's plans succeed. In uh -huh. fact, were you willing to do me this service, you and your friends, perhaps I could secure you safety from this cataclysm as well. Why do you want this place to go down? I mean, you've got business here. Oh, well, I mean, personally, I can't speak for my mother and my brother, but personally, I quite like Baldur's Gate. It's a delightful place, full of scum, villainy, and the worst people to work the earth, which in turn makes it an excellent place to do business. I'm- Sounds I'll... like a paradise to me. Indeed, I I'll be sad to see it go. Uh, please don't misunderstand me, but, well, like you say, everybody has their price, and what we're being offered, oh, oh, you can't imagine it, my friend, it's difficult for me still to envision the rewards that hell offers for not one, but two whole cities sent to the hells physically. Not less physically, but a city as evil and as storied with so many teeming souls as Baldur's Gate. The rewards so are you substantial. Still I well, mean, your mother's planning to do this tomorrow. Why are you still here? Because I will be safe. I don't need to leave. So, you want to see this city go down I and want, lose a lot of business? I want what's owed to me. Then why not take what's owed? Why not take over the family expand into multiple cities why just stick with the two that's in hell he uh he looks at you and says ha 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 laughs and ha 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 oh i like you uh you're not not only uh uh coming to me with a a, a, a perfectly 
uh, helpful piece of information and offering to deal with one of my uh, thoroughly annoying thorns in my side, but you're now suggesting that I... <laughs> that I betray my mother and my brother, the two most powerful people in the city currently, and and take everything that they have. Well, it's it's definitely... Uh, I admire the uh, the brazenness of it. That's for certain. <laughs> but, well, you seem like an ambitious man. Oh, I am. But uh, I've only gotten what I've gotten so far by tempering that ambition with portion and foresight and oh. care. My mother is most powerful now. Most vulnerable, but also most powerful indeed. More powerful than she's ever been in her entire life. I don't have the resources to strike at her directly, even if I wanted to. And I'm man enough to know it. Well. What resources would you need? Would you need a... Uh plucky suicidal team a uh, team of adventurers i mean i was going to say i'd need a crack strike team of elite warriors who were willing to get their hands dirty and the job done but uh what's the difference <laughs> success is the difference i think but uh you can tell that he is very tempted by this like uh, you get the feeling that he does genuinely like Baldur's Gate, all of its flaws, uh, in fact, for its flaws, um, and f further, um, he uh, doesn't really like his mother or his brother, regardless of how much his mother has showered him with love. In fact, that is probably one of the reasons why he doesn't like her. Um, I want you to take a quick look around right now. You see the city before you. Your family already controls it. Why, d even if you send it to the hells and you may get what's promised to you by a bunch of devils, which, um, in my personal opinion, don't usually like to keep promises. But, mm. even if... He looks thoughtful. You got those cities. You have two cities. With your current family's power here, you can easily branch out into every city along the Sword Coast and outside the Sword Coast. You have the resources. You have the power. And you can have a few willing adventurers to help you along the way. Ooh, you make a good point. But... I would need and the beautiful thing is the city will think that you did this to help them and they'll give you even more statue makes you even more powerful hmm. uh, give me a persuasion check with advantage Come on, Papa need those dash. Uh, Marie turns. <laughs> okay, with a nineteen, he, he he looks at you very thoughtfully and very tempted for a long moment. All you need to do is tell us where she is, and possibly the easiest route to get there. If things go bad. No one will know that you're in vote. If things go, and that means your family plan goes the way it was, and then nothing really changes. But if things goes the way, well, right, and we succeed, then you've got the whole power of your family, plus more from the city, and you can expand your business tenfold. I would need assurances. Such as? You would need to kill everything in the place that my mother is currently. 
All of them. They all need to die. They all know too much. All slaughter, eh? I mean... Both we can. For our, my safety, in this fabled reign that you're talking about, and yours. As you might expect, my mother has made a deal with a very powerful entity indeed to be able to pull magic of this magnitude off. You would need to be absolutely certain that none of it would ricochet back onto us, at least in a way that we couldn't attempt to deal with. Well... Let's just say that I'm not exactly fully attached to the party I'm with, and if one were to be persuaded by such magics, it would be very quick to be beheaded. But I am saying that this is a crack team. I mean, they've dealt with your family and the cult underneath your own bathhouse. Oh, really? You've killed those cultists. Good. Yeah. They we were... weren't meaning to, but yeah, no, we just kind of, no, well, they, were, they, were they found me. They were fouling up a perfectly good bathhouse anyway. So, you know, you know just by that we have credibility and power. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I mean, what have you got to lose by giving everything. us this information? I have to lose everything. Yes. Oh, yes. And he looks at you. How very, so? He looks at you very seriously. As I said, the rewards offered are great, but the price for failure is greater. Hmm. So. But I like. But as a gamble. I said before. Hello. Yeah. So do I. I. If you can give me the assurance that everything you find in the place I send you will die, aside from you and your companions who are in on this with me, if you can give me the assurance, furthermore, you have the capability to stop this kind of magic, if you can demonstrate to me, you or one of your comrades, magical ability that is, or law that is capable of halting what I tell you about, then, then I th think we have a deal. Oh, if it's magical capability you want, let's go back inside. Let's gather my comrades. I know a couple of them will have magical capabilities that you're willing, well, you're welcome to assess. And we can discuss things from there. Since your spine devil friends seem to fly off into the night nice sky. Yes, that was convenient. Very well. He, he, he sort of glances over at Baldur's Gate again. And you can see him sort of already beginning to doubt this decision. But he shakes... Have faith, my friend. He looks at you at that. There are many things. I may be small, but I am full of surprises. Hmm. You had better be. I've spent much of my life recently having faith in a different entity. And uh, I will be betraying such an entity. So you'd better be. But. Well, it'll be worth your while. Yes. Reward is even greater. And I would like to knock that smug look off my brother's face. Then let's go and talk. Sure. He, he follows you back down. Um, Vincent, downstairs, by the way, uh, while while you guys have been, uh, like, after the Spine Devil left, uh, but while um, 
Uh, well, Vincent's been drinking, essentially, but he, he looks up sharply and sniffs the air for a moment as if sensing something. Uh, then, uh, moving over to the, the couch uh, for a moment, um, he's not saying anything else because I don't want to really, I don't really want to roleplay um, uh, Vincent without Henry being here, but uh, he just sort of looks at you with regards to what went on a moment ago, but he looks at you all meaningfully for a moment and very quietly says, I just sensed something invisible leaving the boat. I don't know what. I mean, <clears throat> it's yeah. gone then, right? Like say and take another glass. <laughs> it's not nearby anymore. Can't, can't do anything about it now. He uh, he looks a bit sort of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want to go go out and fetch it. You could, but I'm pretty sure you won't catch it, so... I don't know what they're saying up there, but, uh... Mm. Sort of glowers at you, Elizabeth. Maybe I will. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, he, he strides up with a, a look on his face that uh, you've seen before. A look of a hunter going to hunt something. Whether or not he'll catch it, completely different question. Probably, okay. probably passes you, um, Loki, uh, as you and Amrik are sort of coming downstairs. Um, he uh, he doesn't say anything to you. He just sort of gives you a look and strides past. Like a bloodhound. Well, be safe. Always. That guy is intense, man. <laughs> <laughs> Amrick nods. <laughs> People who think that the law means a damn always are. Oh, well. There is one more down there. Yes. Uh, so he probably stops at this point when you say that, just like at the top of the stairs. You're... I presume you're going to either explain matters in a way that makes sense looking at you pointedly, to your Tormtar friend, or they aren't precisely what they seem? My friend, you just are a worried citizen who wishes the best for this city. And I wink at him. Oh, yes. Yes, I am, now that you mention it. But he'll be fooled by this? Well... It's not exactly fooling him because you're giving up information anyway. Well, you're giving up the information. He's not going to really think twice about it. I hope not. I don't think he will. <laughs> but hey. Somewhere. <laughs> gambling, Hello, right? Al Alros, you feel the sudden un unmistakable urge to sneeze and like a like a feeling as if someone is dancing on your grave for a moment and underestimating <laughs> you while you're out there. <laughs> Besides, hopefully they'll just trust my judgment, especially since I got the information they wanted. No, well, let's they don't need to know about the little deal. Uh, After all this is done, you and I can go about business elsewhere. He smiles and says, "Yes, and uh, if uh, everything goes wrong, well." I'll be dead, you should be fine. I mean, not like your name oh, is against no, this. No, I mean in a moment or two. Uh, we have a... Oh. Uh, we have accommodation available. For such... people. I'll be fine. So Just you keep saying. Act normal. Just act normal. And have a good time, always. Have a good time. Sort of gestures for you to lead on. A sort of dark look suddenly on his face. I continue moving down like jauntily, like do 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 do. Alright, so uh, you're back on uh, the boat area. 
Uh, feel free to move yourself wherever you're going. I'm Howdy, with... gang. Yeah, you're back from your walk. I hope it was good. Very sure you need some hydration now, and I'll try to hand you guys some drinks. Yes, yes, we could both do with a drink. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, he looks over at the bartender who serves you all up some more shots. Uh, at this point, um... Of people drinking, how how much have you drunk so far? Uh, Ash and Skill on his first drink, not touching anything else. Sure. He believes in yeah. don't drink and fly. <laughs> Probably had like three wines by now, and now I'm about to down a shot. Okay, give me a constitution saving throw. Um, and also, one. drink a few shots with the fuzz. Oop. A few shots is probably fine. Um, well, actually, uh, you're you're fine. Oh, let me rephrase. A few shots for me are like ten or twelve. <laughs> <laughs> True, <laughs> but and yet you still seem fine. Um, okay. Uh, Alros, uh, have you drunk at all? Anything? Uh, I think, you know, maybe I was nursing an ale or a meat or something, but. Yeah, I think I think that is what I what I had you do upstairs. So maybe you've still got the same the same ale. <laughs> Probably it's like I, warm I, by now. Right. <laughs> Come on, man, get yourself a fresh drink. Well, the alcohol's free. You wouldn't want a warm one, would you? I'm, just, I'm good. I, I don't know why I keep having to make Foster's jokes, but I'm gonna carry on making them. Um, you're 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 welcome, uh, Ash and uh, Phil. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, yeah, so when you drink this shot, Loki, yeah, you can feel the alcohol really, really kicking in, giving that, giving that good buzz, making the room, <laughs> making the room a little, yeah. a little blurry. Um, you don't have the poison condition yet, but you're, you're definitely, you're definitely getting there. You're definitely getting there. Um, yeah, no, as if in response to what Elizabeth said, Amric, uh, sort of. Comes around and sits down in front of Ashen and says, lounges really in front of Ashen and says, Yeah, so our conversation was most productive. Uh, your mutual, our mutual friend here has convinced me that you are people of seriousness and repute that I can do business with. And that furthermore, I, as a extremely concerned citizen of Baldur's Gate, that uh, cares deeply for the welfare of the city, uh, might have information that I can help you with, so that we might do said business. Can Ash an insight roll that? <laughs> sure. Anyone can, in fact. Yeah, I will as well. Thinking I believe in. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. So his insight modifier is the same as his deception modifier. So that is a twenty-four. Um. Okay. Well. Yep. Our roster. I mean, you know, Loki seems like a talkative fellow. Maybe he has genuinely persuaded him. I mean, the you, you know, extremely concerned is still probably a little pushing it, but maybe he has convinced him that, you know. It's in his best interests to talk to you. Uh, same, Ashen, basically, but you're more suspicious. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth, uh, are you rolling that? Or are you just disbelieving? <laughs> uh, you know, Loki has taken on the duty of, of talking, uh, so, so I think it went good. I had the duty of distracting. It went good, so... I, I think I'll... I, I won't call the trust, I'll just say I think he did his job. Sure. Plan, plan going well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. As long as we get the info at the end of the day. Right. Yeah, exactly. As long as you get the job done. That's all the Zodge cares about. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Also, oh my god, uh, Ashen. <laughs> Fill that link in Discord. <laughs> Okay. Um I got the power. Uh, but yeah, uh Amric uh looks around at you all and says, So 
This business is best discussed privately. Valtus, you and your men are on break. And, uh, uh, darling Kiki, we can serve ourselves. And, uh... Oh, Ben Bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I own all the liquor here anyway, so... Um... Yeah, the the uh, the various uh, thugs still looking uncomfortable uh, leave uh, up the stairs with Valtus being the last one giving you all a look and uh, the Kenku uh, scampers below uh, Kiki uh, scampers below uh, not looking disturbed, looking relieved to uh, n not be here and not be perfectly memorizing as every aspect of your conversation. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, they can, and they would be able to mimic said conversation almost perfectly um, with their abilities. Once they're gone, uh, Amrik looks around at you all, uh, picks up a drink, drinks it quickly, as if giving himself liquid courage, and says, So, you know what my mother is trying to do, or at least you know enough about it uh, to... Well, know the, the 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 main thrust of her plan. Indeed, but I can tell you where she is, and further, I can tell you what you need to do if you wish to stop her. All I ask in return, he smiles like this is no like this is a small thing, a trifle really, is two things: your cooperation and silence in this endeavor, and the city of Baldur's Gate. I don't want it. <laughs> it's used. Take that shit all. I'll take yeah. another city. It's okay. It's used goods and icky. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. He he, he laughs. Could I have Alterel if we get it back up? If you can get Alterel out of hell, my dear, then you're more than welcome to it. I know for a fact that Krieg isn't ruling over it anymore. That's for sure. Um, Ashen's gonna look, try and look poker faced. Sure. Give me a deception roll <laughs> or a performance <laughs> roll. Uh, either would be fine. I might do it while they're both the same. So you're not doing a not doing a bad job. Uh, let's see if his 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 insight sees through it, but yeah, no, you're you're not doing a bad job. Okay. Well, just look like your face and inwardly, what are you? What are you feeling? In inwardly, I'm, I'm thinking we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Um, you can have it for like five seconds. Wow. You know. Wow. Like I That's like like I said to you, friend. Like I said to you, our uh, new compatriot. Um, once this is over, and your mother is gone, you'll be in control. And I'm sure the, uh, city will be more than happy to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Reward our heroic efforts. That's the one. Yes. Which is why I will rely on your cooperation and silence. Once I come to power, well, my favor will be quite useful for you in this still in the material plane city. 
he doesn't need to speak the threat, which is the, and also I'll have the resources of the city at my oh, command yeah. to, you know, persecute and kill you all if you, uh, if you try to sort of tell the truth about what happened to everybody. Um, you, you, you're all very smart people. I'm sure you put it together yourselves. So, he looks at, uh, you've all sort of indicated something aside from Alros, so he glances at Alros and says, What say you, Tormtar? Care to make a devil's bargain with the devil you know? Uh, I think that's the preferable choice in this case. Indeed. But yeah, again, inwardly, I think, like Ashen, um, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things like, yeah, okay, whatever, just tell us what we need to know now, we'll deal with you later. <laughs> sure. Amrik doesn't know that he's the small fry, but he's the small fry. <laughs> yes. He, still in blissful ignorance, spreads his hands and says, Wonderful, and so glad I am to see practicality from a man of the cloth. So unusual. You are an unusual bunch. But to business. There are a number of things that we need to do if we are to stop my mother from sending this place to hell. Firstly, you must kill my brother. And by my brother in this case, I don't mean Mortlock. Although if you want to kill him as a freebie, I'd appreciate it. Particularly since he apparently wants to kill me. Quite wrongfully, might I add, I had nothing to do with the assassins that were sent for him. I think he wants to kill me to hurt my mother. Which will be pointless, because you're going to need to kill her too. Uh, in fact, you're going to need to kill quite a lot of people. So much that your feet and hands will be soaked in blood by the end of this. Since Sounds like a party to me. Indeed. Particularly since you are apparently so good at killing cults and cultists. I have the perfect job for you. In fact, he looks thoughtful. The fellow who tried to arrest me will be quite useful in this endeavor. Not necessarily the killing, but getting you to where you need to be. Currently, as you might have guessed, my family, what remains of it, is holed up in Van Thampa Villa, or more specifically, beneath it. You guys love digging holes underneath houses. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, uh, you. Your characters can already tell. Ah, wonderful. A dungeon beneath a building full of cultists. That went so well last time. <laughs> uh, so he said... Action's already thinking the deal on the soul coin. Yeah. He's not sure he's ever going to need those wings. Uh, so... That's what that... Uh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. My mother and her cult uh, worship Zariel, archdevil of the first layer of Avernus. My mother has made a deal with this archdevil. Uh, a, a very, very powerful, magical deal. Or rather, my mother has, alongside a man that you may have heard of before, High Priest Thavius Krieg of Torm and Elterel. And he looks Auros dead in the eyes as he says this. Uh, if you don't already, so, just to give you some context, Aros, he's essentially yep. accusing the Pope of having made a deal with Satan. 
we overlooked. Right, so this was... Okay, all right. Cool. Great. Perfect. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Further, he's saying that he's alive, because... Uh, uh, from 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 the Temple of Tormus perspective, and indeed Baldur's Gate's perspective, uh, El Terrell has something terrible has happened to it. But the the whereabouts of Thavius Krieg, the the sort of leader of the Tormite faith, and indeed the entire country, uh, the El Terrell, the city state of El Terrell, is unknown. No one knows what happened to him. They the the general assumption in the temple has been that he perished in defense of El Terrell against whatever happened to it, but. Yeah, so he's basically saying the leader of your religion has made a deal with one of the worst evils possible to sell an entire city to hell. Um, so I'll also look at Amrick. So, so Krieg is in Baldur's Gate? Yes. Where? Beneath my mother's villa. <laughs> Praying to the devil the she-devil, that he sold his soul to. Well, there you go, Tarmtar. Looks like you have a quest here after all. Amric, the Do bastard, you... is smiling, as if he's really enjoying telling you this. Because he is. <laughs> Do you... Do you know his motivations why why did he do that power greed corruption and love love oh yes yes i believe he's quite in love with the archdevil the fool that he is hmm. you're gonna say your mom Amrick <laughs> <Same. laughs> can't help himself. He, he laughs at that, and every time he laughs, out Al Aros is like a like a like a nail on a chalkboard. He's making light of like the head of your religion apparently being the worst of all people. It's particularly ironic given that uh, followers of Torm were a religion that seeks out corruption. So. Mm hmm. Uh, Am Amrik stops laughing eventually and says, Yes, isn't it delightfully ironic? Oh, I'm sorry, you probably don't think that. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, I mean, it's not a loss. Well, yet. It is a tragedy. Um, it's good that it's been brought to light, and it'll be dealt with. Wow! You really believe that, don't you? That's amazing. I believe that it'll be dealt with. Is that what I believe? That it's good. Your... Your whole attitude astounds me. I did say that these were some plucky adventures. Oh, you're not wrong. You're a man of hidden depths. I apologize. Oh, shit. I presume you plan to be the one to deal with it. Uh, as you said, he's beneath your mother's villa. It sounds like that's where we're going. So, I mean, there, there is certainly more information than search a hole underneath my yes. house. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. So, uh, the villa is guarded thoroughly by the watch, rather than the flaming fist. Which is why your friend may well be rather useful to you. He might be able to get you past the 20 guards, the score of guards at least, of the watch that are posted at every gate to the upper city and furthermore uh, around the villa itself. He 
otherwise, well, you might have to kill a whole bunch of very innocent people, which I won't care about, but I suspect some of you will. Then, once you've gotten into the villa, you'll have to make your way to... Uh, hang on. Finding way back. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, he'd know about that. One of the several entrances to the dungeon below. If you need to, you could use the stables. There is a trapdoor in there uh, that leads to the dungeon below. It's more of an escape route than an entrance, and uh, I'm not certain what the traps are on it currently. I haven't been there in some time, but that is one way of attaining the villa if you don't want to go inside of the building. Then, assuming you get inside of the building, which you will need to do anyway because I suspect Thirstwell will be in there, even if my mother is below. And you need to kill him. Otherwise this will all be for naught. You can then... Using... Uh, <laughs> Uh, nope. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, you then need to make your way to the stairs down inside of the villa, which, uh, assuming you enter by one of the main entrances, uh, you will find on the uh, the right hand side of the central complex. But I say, as I say, you'll likely need to enter the villa above as well as make your way below. One way or the other, Thirstwell will need to die, just as my mother does. Mostly because he is a linchpin of the ritual. If they don't both die, then one of them can just carry on. They'll have to what relocate. Are... Go ahead. What are the other... Uh, like... Uh, I My English is struggling. Not the like ingredients, but what are the things needed for the ritual? Is there any way we could delay it? Hmm. So it would give us like a few days more, maybe? He looks thoughtful. Um, that checks some stuff. Yeah. Delaying it. Hmm. Possibly. If you can find... My brother... My brother has a box. Uh, an infernal puzzle box. That I believe is... Important. To the ritual. I... I'll admit, I don't understand all of the particulars of it. I'm not magically inclined myself. But it has always been present uh, during uh, the services and the incantations that were necessary to propagate Zariel. I believe it is important. Further, uh, my mother keeps several prisoners one of whom is a sage, but I believe is mined for information 
a man known as Dr. Fisk. If you can find him, and he will be able to help you cease or delay or change this ritual. As far as I know, he is currently in the dungeon underneath the villa. What, what was that name again? I'm sorry. Uh, Dr. Fisk. Uh, when, when you uh, uh, manically laugh, Ashen, he glances at you and says, yes, your talents would probably be quite suited to dealing with this puzzle box. So, uh, so... I'm not gonna. Res I'll just look at him. I'm gonna kick that poker thing. Uh, does that mean he's figured out I'm an artificer? Um, that's a good or, question. Uh, he or, or is he trying doing that because I'm a tiefling? Saying that because I'm a tiefling. Uh, so give if, give me an insight roll. You think it's because you're a tiefling? Okay, I'll, I'll flex my wings a little bit. Sure. Uh, hopefully he doesn't know who you are. Hopefully. Well, I let my disguise drop now, so... Well, yeah, so he knows your face, but that doesn't... I mean, it, it's a big city, and uh, he... I am usually a cat. When I'm outside, I'm usually in my... Right, yeah, exactly, yeah. You, you have multiple personas, essentially. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopefully. But yes, to answer the question, uh, the ingredients for this ritual are one, my mother and her, her undying faith in her own power, two, my brother and his undying faith in uh, the forces of hell and uh, in Zariel, uh, three, Thavius Krieg uh, and his uh, corrupt soul uh, that has been used as part of the price, Four, the puzzle box of my brother, and five, oh, about all of the souls of Baldur's Gate. Aside from my family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. technically, I suppose myself, but uh, I know of a way that I can uh, escape the strictures of my bargain if you succeed. I merely have to die, you see. Doesn't mean you can't come back, I'm guessing. Precisely. Which I suppose you could do to my mother and brother as well, but again, that leaves us with the whole deniability thing. So no, I'm afraid they're going to have to actually die. We'll make sure they don't have some resurrection item or something on them. Yes, if, one, mean, if someone tries to cast Revivify on them, if you could please prevent that with aforementioned Scimitar, that would be appreciated. But I can. Good. Good. So, that is the scale of the task before you, my friends. Merely make your way past a platoon full of guardsmen into a heavily guarded and defended manor, past the servants, infernal or otherwise, of my mother and brother, deal with two extremely powerful spellcasters and one extremely corrupt priest, and whatever other infernals they've conjured beneath, and uh, prevent them from uh, giving the entire city to the hells in a timely and forthwith manner by, oh, I don't know, tonight. Well, I mean, if not, we're going to hell, I guess. It's a cozy place, right? Oh, yes, it's wonderful this time of year. I'll send you a postcard. Well, Speaking we of knew which, things would get interesting. He, he says tonight, so... That means if you'd yeah. waited for breakfast. So well, you... guys, what do you reckon? As Loki says that, we get to take a break. So, Ooh. you've got 15 minutes to consider your response to this situation, although I suspect I know what it's going to be. You attack Amrik 
and kill him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll be back in 15 minutes. Um, have a drink, have a stretch. We'll be back. Okay. Cool. Wonderful.
G'day. <laughs> now the internet can hear us again. I know, it's terrible. Hello. Hello, internet. How are you doing? I hope everyone in chat as well. All right. So, having just dropped those bombshells, Amrik looks around at you all and says, Well, are you in or are you out? I think we're in. I mean, what choice do we have? If not, we're going to hell anyways, so... Pretty much. Uh, you could flee the city. Uh, you do still have time. You can probably escape the blast radius. But uh, it's only a probably. I'm afraid at this point. You've got less than 10 hours. If that. Unless we kill your brother for you and then you'll get us out of here. Uh, yes, I suppose. If you kill Mortlock for me, but don't want to do the rest of this, I would be grateful enough that I would lend you the use of my boat. You could try and flee. But, uh, it would still only be a probably. Probably, even with the boat. Uh, I don't think even my mother knows precisely how much of the material will be taken into hell. What say you, crew? Again, I'm in. Yeah, I think I we're mean, all in. I have to save my bakery or whatever. <laughs> or oh, whatever. <laughs> Your secret Black Ops network. It's a secret. Don't just, don't just talk about the, the the secret Black Ops network. It's, it's a very secrety secret. Jeez. So where where is this villa at? Is it in the city? Uh, so he will give you directions to it. Uh, whoop. You know, just my neighborhood. I, I know, know where he at. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, so, I, all right, are we all leaving? Uh, well, I mean, that's up to you. I think we need to do some planning and maybe. Well, that's that's fine. I don't. I don't uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I'm not gonna say what I have to say until we're not in front of Amrick anymore. <laughs> Makes sense. <Yeah. laughs> so I left some potions of healing being written at my place. We could go back to there. Uh, so Am Amrick kind of looks at you all and says. Well, yes, sir. if we have nothing else to discuss, then I will await your safe and triumphant return. Good luck. And triumphant it will be. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. He looks thoughtful, sticks a hand in his pouch, and, um. Mm, Tosses it to. Uh, tosses an item to Loki uh, that looks like a bomb. It's not lit. <laughs> Although it takes you a moment. <laughs> What's this do? If you need to get out of a particular pickle or perhaps distract some of those guards I've mentioned, it's a smoke bomb. You uh, light it, throw it on the ground. It explodes and produces smoke. Well, this will be handy. He smiles. To our fortuitous return.
guess we leave. Yeah, start yeah. walking. So yeah, unless any of you, unless any of the rest of you have any further questions for him or anything else to say to him, then yeah, you're he he lets you leave. He doesn't do anything to stop you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, as you uh, come up onto the top deck, um, Vincent uh, is walking back on uh, to uh, the ship with a reasonably smug and triumphant grin on his face and a smoking pistol in his hand and uh, just says quietly, uh, Got one. But then glances up towards the ravens and puts a finger to his lips before walking back off the ship. <laughs> oh well, at least we got the whole crew now. Um, what's the plan, guys? Yeah, let's um, head to the city. Um. You head into the heat of Baldur's Gate's afternoon, what might well be the last afternoon of Baldur's Gate. It sounds like we're uh, having a little bit of time pressure. Um, So I honestly would be, before we try to kill them, try to relay the ritual a bit. My personal. Right, right. How do we do that again? Is, any, to my is anybody listening? <laughs> We're being followed. Yeah. Anyone who wants to can give me a perception check. Or you can use your passive perception. A passive perception is a 10. In which case... When I'm not looking, I'm not... Sure. When I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Okay. Uh, well, Aros, uh, at the moment, at least, you don't think anyone is following you. Which is nice. Right, I think we're good to talk quietly for a moment, anyway. Well, why don't we go back to my place, because I'm crafting some scrolls of healing, which we're going to want to take with us, I'm thinking. Vincent looks uh- at Ashen and says, Your place is being watched. Thanks, Vincent. <laughs> he nods. We should go back for the scrolls, though. But maybe not talk about this business in front of them. So yeah. where can we go that isn't watched to plan? He glances at our and says, Here seems good. Yeah, I think we have, a, we have a moment here that we can talk and plan. Yeah, also, okay. also, the... the Sorry, Ken. Um, it's it's normally not too bad, but there's a lot of crackle coming through in your mic at the moment. I don't know if you're bre- I don't know if you're breathing on it or. Sorry, it's just <laughs> I can't hear you sometimes. How dare you breathe? I know. Stop breathing. Banned. Yeah. Okay. Banned forever. I, I will. I will not your breathe breath. anymore. Okay. I, I I don't know if it's that. It might not be that. I just wanted to let you know so you, you can do something. About no, it. I'll I'll yeah I'll adjust it and see if it gets any better. Just let me know. Thank you. Yeah, so I, I was just going to say, um, yeah, I think we can talk here. If, if not, w- while the temple, the Tormtar temple, m- may be being watched, I think at least it's uh, on the interior, we'd have a, a chance to talk as well if, if we'd rather do that. Except that the news about the chief Tormtar guy makes me think that it may not be that safe at the temple. If it's true. Well, yeah. I mean, my house is down the street. That was, oh. he was, the high priest was in El Terrell. I, I mean, there was some communication back and forth, obviously. I, I, I think we'd be okay. I also had a thought about talking to the leadership at the temple and seeing if we could get help uh, my, my thoughts were we could have them at least deal with the guards up top and 
if it's an official order coming from the temple to, you know, round up, not round up the guards, but have the guards stand down, and then the others from the temple could potentially guard any exits in case uh, any of the Van Thampers or uh, the priest guy whose name I totally remember um, tried to escape, they could at least you know, catch them for us, potentially. Is the priest's name in chat? Thank you. I wrote it down. I just couldn't find the window. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Vincent looks thoughtful at all of this and says, I don't trust that the temple isn't being watched either. I don't think that's a bad idea about trying to get the guards to stand down, or I can use my writ, but I think of all of us, Elizabeth, you're the least likely to be being spied on currently. Yeah, because I'm doing a good job, so, um... <laughs> and my place is close. We could get some more equipment. I, I think I'm good, and also um, I don't like to be too packed if I'm trying to break in a, break in a place, you know? Because I prefer not being seen before we get at least one thing done of my list. And I take out a little, like, note thingy where I, like, writ wrote down all the stuff that uh, he told us. Mm. Vincent Maybe looks we could, awkward. We could... Um, I don't know, maybe on my way to the... We could go to my place and while we pass the villa, we could have a look. How the guarding situation is and how we could get in the quickest and then make the plan at my house and like return. Yeah, we, we could do that or again, do we need to go anywhere? Do Can we go straight there? We can recon outside and uh, see if Vincent can get us past the guards. There it, was... It seems like... Go ahead. He sort of looks at you and says, There was that other imp that got away from the bathhouse. I suspect they know our faces. They'll be looking out for us. Yeah, and I, I think that's why we, we shouldn't delay any longer than we have to, or walk past once and then come back again. It Maybe. Seems suspicious. I mean, how do you think guys think about disguising or changing our appearance? I mean, that, when we enter, that was what I was thinking. If hmm. we disguise ourselves, but I use these papers, I can maybe get us past the guards outside. Yeah. Without us, he glances back at Aros, having to fight them. But I agree yeah. with the uh, uh, with the reconnoitering. If we look like ourselves, we're just going to give ourselves away. Um, I could change us up a bit if, if someone doesn't have magic to alter their appearance. Oh. I just raise my hood over my head. <laughs> <laughs> so disguised. <laughs> it's like Assassin's Creed. When you put the hood up, <laughs> no one knows that you're the assassin. <laughs> Could we, um, could we go to the temple? Uh, Alroth could have his chat, and then could we dress as acolytes and sneak out some way quietly? Maybe. I yeah. mean, there are crowds outside the temple that you could maybe blend into, um, and coming out as acolytes rather than yourselves could maybe throw off people watching the temple. Well, to the I mean, first we go part of in that, to yeah. pray, and someone else comes out. I think, uh, yeah, that yeah. would also work. They, they may think we're still all still in there. Um, yeah, and uh, on the way, we could stop off at my place and get the scrolls, um, mm -hmm. and 
once we're disguised, we could go past the the villa and the stables and do any recon and then decide. Because we don't have much time. Yeah, I think the longer we wait, if they do know we're coming or even if they don't, it just gives them more time to set up defenses. So if we go to my place and, and look like we don't know we're being watched, right? And then we just head off to the uh, temple, which is not unreasonable because we're with Haunter. And then that's where we can try and give any watchers the slip. Hmm. That way, at least, if you needed something from your place, Elizabeth, you could get it. When we go to the temple, it's not far enough away that you just going to get stuff would be suspicious. And then he looks at Vincent, looks at Loki, and says, "Do you even have a place in the city?" Hey, man, I'm just staying at an inn. Oh, do you need to go back to it? Nah, I pretty much just carry my own stuff. Well then, sounds like a plan. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so, uh, you guys head to Ashen's place. Um, everybody give me a performance roll. <laughs> I would like to use my disguise kit and basically just take <clears throat> off my disguise, so... <laughs> you know, I don't look sick anymore and stuff. Sure, yeah. And, like, take off my fancy clothing, wear, wear my armor, like, braid my hair different or something. Sure. Disguise yourself. Uh, give me a uh, disguise kit roll. So, yeah, there you go. Nice, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so two passes, two fails, and okay, Vincent, come on, bro. Even when we're trying to appear obvious, what does a fail mean? Uh, you're looking around for observers. Well, that's what we're trying to do because we want them to. Uh, oh. You, you, until we're at the temple, uh -huh. we're not trying to be anything other than sort of obvious in our actions so yeah. looking around obviously is a good thing then uh <laughs> i guess you're looking around and finding them accidentally uh. <laughs> <laughs> i guess is failure here sure oh. <laughs> uh vincent will spend his inspiration on that sorry i thought i was gonna roll with advantage Okay, yeah, well, uh, you you give the appearance of looking around for observers, but p pointedly, although uh, maybe um, maybe Alros uh, notice them, notices them with his passive perception, pointedly you don't look where the actual hidden observers are. Vincent himself, like, uh, sniffs the air and, you know, uh, probably glances at you guys like he, he knows that there are people watching you here, but he doesn't. He doesn't point them out or anything. He just looks around like, oh, where could they be? I don't know where they are, sort of thing. Um, you're able to get the scrolls uh, that you've been making. Um, they finished. Um, and leave without the hordes of hell descending upon you. Um, then uh, you make your way across the city, which, if anything, this afternoon seems even busier, even rowdier, and even uh, muggier, both in the sort of temperature sense and in the sense of people being mugged. Uh, like there are uh, several muggings that you pass, um, like in progress, um, uh, that the guards seem to be, you know, dealing with. But uh, it, it seems like the whole city seems like it's poised on the edge of a riot. But yeah. Uh, are you going directly to the temple, like through the closest gate, or are you going past the villa? I think closest gate. I think we'll yeah I think head we're... straight for the villa. Yep. 
like after the temple. Okay. Um, so uh, you make your way down to the closest gate to the villa. Uh, you make your way. Uh, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna force you to roleplay this again. You make your way through the crowds again uh, to get into the temple, uh, one way or another, either via hidden entrances, via disguises, uh, via just bl- blase sort of walking in. I think probably in this instance, though, you probably all want to blase walk in, right? Because you want to be seen entering yep. the yep. temple. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, with shouts of anger and annoyance behind you from the various refugees that still haven't gotten in, uh, you return uh, to uh, the temple. Um, it is much the same as it was, except uh, busier, if anything. Um, the the staff, the acolytes, look even more harassed than they did the last time you were here. Um, Auros, you look around and you see many, many hardworking souls who predominantly, fervently believe in Torm, who have no idea of what you have been told. Um, did, so every everyone came into the temple? Mm-hmm. Alright, I will um, lead them back to my chambers or if there's like a uh, the Tormtar equivalent of a conference room <laughs> lol yeah there, there kind of is um, they have a round table and everything um, perfect, it, perfect. It, it, it's, it's less like conference room and more like meeting of nights sort of room but uh, it, it, it do, it'll do in this case got like big shields on the walls um, uh, with yeah. like different, different crests of famous tomb tiles. So then I'll lower the projector screen and uh, get ah! my PowerPoint ready. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. you, you, you activate the uh, envisioning stone and um, uh, the illusory magic projects onto the uh, bare marble wall that is used for such things. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, no, but so in, in all seriousness... Uh... Uh, you weren't being serious? Huh. <laughs> yes, this was actually this whole thing has just been a ruse to get you all to convert to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like you, uh, uh, you, you uh, fl- flick out the uh, the silver wand of pointing, point to it, and uh, the first uh, slide that comes up is this is an intervention. <laughs> <laughs> Think you need that intervention for your people inside. Since uh, your pope is evil, uh, that, is, that is surprising. But that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, so I, again, I'm assuming we have some semblance of privacy. You have closed the doors and changed the sign on the door to "Do not disturb," which, as lawful uh, good acolytes, they will 100% honor. Uh, uh, to do otherwise would be shameful. Right. Uh, and Vincent, I'll... no invisible things. Vincent shakes his head. There are outside, but not in here. Okay. Um, all right. With that being said, do we want to bring the rest of the temple in this to uh, see if they can assist us in some way? Is there one particular person you trust, rather than the whole temple? DM, is there one particular person I trust, rather than the whole temple? Uh, give me an insight roll. I keep closing Don't be a friend. No. You and about half my players, my man. <laughs> Everyone closes their character sheets, and then and then and then they're like, "I need to reopen my character sheet." I'm like, "Why did you close it?" Um, okay. Good. Um. Hmm. Two people actually, but one of them might be more useful than the other. Uh, the archivist that you've previously spoken to, the keeper of forbidden law, you have no reason to doubt his integrity. He, he's He's been with the temple since, well, you, you longer, considerably longer than you have. Um, he has never led you astray before, and the gravity of his role 
is such, and the sort of nature of it is such that the temple only select the most proof against the corruption of forbidden law, the strongest of will, the most stubborn tormites, um, the most stubborn tormtars that would just are very unlikely to fall to uh, corruption for the role. So he, you would probably trust more so than any other member of the temple. Uh, not only because you know them reasonably well because they've helped you out with your private endeavors, um, but also because of their training and their sort of ability to resist corruption. The downside is he's an old man. He's past his prime with regards to battle. Uh, he, he can probably, he could probably help you with knowledge with law, and he is a spellcaster still. Uh, he still receives prayers from Torm, but uh, in terms of like combat aptitude, um, even though he does the training that everybody does, he's he's old, um, and as such has lost some of his physical potential. Um, also, um, there is uh, currently in residence as well as yourself, there is another. Um, well, there's a member of the Church of Elterel. Yeah, um, uh, a lady known as uh, Rhea Mantlemorn. Um, she's actually a, a hell rider, um, uh, and uh, one of the refugees uh, that recently entered the city. Given the way she talks about um, uh, the. Given the way that you even heard us sort of speculate about the um, uh, the vanishment of the city and the the trauma that she went through that she is undergoing therapy for with the temple currently, um, you think it's very unlikely that she was involved in its disappearance, and she has expressed to temple acolytes that she would do anything um, to stop that from happening to anyone ever again you had the impression that she was likely to try and take holy orders in the temple and learn, like train to become a paladin she has the, the sort of zeal that's necessary um, the reason like I say the reason you trust her is combination of her youth and this sort of thing that has happened to her means that you you think she's very unlikely to have been involved in any sort of corrupt dealings in Elteron. Right. Um, the others of okay, the so temple, you might trust the others of the temple as well. It's just these are these are the two that stick out. Right. Yeah, so I'll I'll tell the rest of the group that uh all every basically everything you just said and then I will follow that up with um I if you give me a moment, I think we should pull both of them in here uh, and talk to both of them at the same time. Sure. Are you okay with that? <laughs> you like go out and bring them in, and there's like these four weirdos just like sitting there on the table, <laughs> yeah. like looking at them, like this yeah. is like. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal. <laughs> yeah, okay. Job uh... interview. All right, hang on just a second. So you're easily hopefully. able to... Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, hopefully neither of them are tiefling-phobic. Uh, no, uh, I mean... Uh, uh, certainly, uh, our, our Ross, you've seen no... Im you've, you've been given no impression that either of them would react badly to a tiefling, specifically. Um... Perhaps uh, more uh, progressively than some of the temple. I'll smile. Not. Okay. So I was assuming I'm. I was able to go find them both and bring them both. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, grabbing. Uh, I've got art for Raya, but I'm just grabbing uh, art for the archivist because I wasn't expecting to need his art today. <laughs> Uh, hold on. I have a piece of art in mind, so... No one expects the Tormite, uh, intervention. I know, I know. Uh, okay, yeah, so she'll do... 
Get the comfy chair. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, he's an old man. It's true, yeah. The, the, uh, and the chairs in here um, are, uh, well, um, they're like, again, they're like kingly, sort of knightly, royal table sort of chairs. So with like the high backs and the, the, the sort of tall, straight um, wooden wooden sort of uh, handles, they're, they're not very comfortable. They're, they're designed to make you uncomfortable so that you understand the import of the decisions that you're making. And think pure thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. If you get too comfortable, that's a sin. True. Uh, okay, so this is Keeper Xander, uh, the archivist that you spoke to before. And this... Then roll 20 left. Uh, this is Rhea Mantlemorn. So, Keeper Xandar's easy to find. Because um, you find him in the archives, uh, where you would expect him to find him. Um, uh, he looks up erasably and says, Eh, what? Ah, Alros, you've returned. I've uh, yes. put the books away that you were using previously. Ah. Uh. Thank you, Keeper. Um, I hate to bother you, but um, we have a time-sensitive matter. Oh. Um, would you mind joining uh, myself and my friends in the uh, uh, in the in the round table? Yes. Yes. Y yes. Of course. He uh, can tell that you like you're concerned about something. Um, he's recently insightful. Uh, and just hurries along with you. Probably, probably does look suspiciously at the rest of you when he comes in. And I'll, I'll ask him, I guess, on the way there, uh, if he's seen Rhea. Oh yes, young Miss Mantlemorn. Um, I believe she's uh, in a uh, uh, a prayer group right now. Um, I think uh, as you're going past the room, he stops and says, "Do, do you need her?" Uh, yes. Nods, knocks on the door, uh, pushes it open after knocking. There's a group of acolytes um, sitting in a circle. Um, looks very much like a meeting of Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, one of them is Rhea. Uh, they all look up. And, uh, uh, Keeper Xandar says, oh, Excuse me, I apologies for bothering you. Uh, Miss Mantlemorn, could you come with us for a moment, please? She looks a little confused, glances past Xandar at you. You haven't really talked to her directly, you've just kind of heard things about her. Um, so this is the f you've seen her before, but this is the first time she's really looked at you, and she's at least she looks at you curiously to see this sort of um, armoured man covered in purity seals who looks like he's been in battle recently. Um, but, stands up, follows, comes outside, Keeper Xandar closes the door, uh, looks at you. She looks at you as well and says, um, is something wrong? Uh, maybe. Let's, uh, get some privacy first and then we'll discuss the issue. Okay. So she'll, she'll follow. I'm still looking curious, but a little worried now as well. Um... And, uh, yeah, so you bring them back into the conference room. Xandar looks around at you suspiciously. Rhea just sort of regards you all somewhat neutrally. Um, you get the impression maybe she's worked with adventurers before or seen adventurers before. She uh, it doesn't have a sword out currently, but she is dressed in her armor. Um, and she just sits down in a chair. Keeper Xandar sort of leans against the table and says... Uh, I presume this is to do with the current matter that you're investigating, Tormtar, rather than the uh, other matter we have spoken of previously. Uh, yeah, there could be an intersection, though. He looks more worried. 
quirks an eyebrow. Well, out, so, out with it, man. Yes, quick around the room. Uh, this is Ashen, uh, Elizabeth, uh, Lady Win Winward, right? Uh, Loki and Vincent. Uh, they have been helping in investigate these issues. Xandar, when you're going around the room, peers at Elizabeth and says, Oh, she's not. Excuse me? She's not Lady she's Winwood. Not. Why are you masquerading as Lady Winwood? I'm smiling at him. Oh, a name doesn't mean anything, does it? It does to me. I've killed more cultists than you have. So I think I did you got more of a deed than you. Although I don't even follow him. I think my name is, is um, not too important in this situation. We have more important matters to tell you about. Uh, give me a persuasion. Someone's hiding something. He frowned. Uh, then yeah. we will speak of this matter after. Tormtar Alros tells us why we're all here. But he is definitely like, kind of, he glowers at you for a moment, as if like the fact that you're masquerading as Lady Wynne would irritate him for some reason. Yeah. Uh, yes, so that's everyone, apparently. Um, uh, yes, so pulled both of you in to uh, because we we think that we can trust you in this matter um, and then I'll tell them everything unless anybody stops me at some point to, t to not tell them something okay um, is anybody stopping our Ross hmm. no no Okay. Well, <laughs> they listen to all of it. Rhea looks... Well, honestly, she's got the Vietnam stare. She's like staring off into the middle distance. You feel like she can hear choppers and Credence Clearwater revival already. Um, <laughs> Keeper Xander, on the other hand, his brows have furrowed like a beetle. Like two beetles meeting. Um, and he looks, uh, very disturbed. After you finish, he, like, neither of them speak for a good few seconds. Yeah, so I'll, I'll fill the silence with, um, so, beyond the fact that, uh, I think it would be beneficial for both of you to know that information, um, we would also like to ask for your assistance in getting into and dealing with the Van Thamper villa. Help us, Obi Keeper. <laughs> so, like, Rhea will instantly, as soon as you ask, say, yes, I will help. Oh, great, thanks. Are we leaving now? Uh, once we figure out uh, if Keeper Xandar has Xander has any input. Keeper Xandar is looking horrified <laughs> at this at these revelations and says, "I, I were it not you." Ormtar Alros, I could scarcely credit what you are saying. But since it is, I must save you. He, he rubs his face with his hands. I... I must put aside all of the other matters that are terrifying and terrible 
and seek the practical. Uh, tell me again of the details of this ritual that you have found. That you know, at least. Uh, so, at this point, Auros, you can tell that he is, like, really quite desperately trying to um, put aside the fact that apparently the head of your religion has been corrupted in such a terrible way. And it's really, like... It has struck a blow at the heart of his faith, you think. He might even... You get the impression he might even know Krieg. Or have known Krieg. He's old enough. Yes. Um, it is quite disheartening to hear that, but I... And while it is faith shaking I, I still feel that it's our duty to remove this corruption especially when it's infiltrated our own midsts uh raya slams a fist on the table very loudly and abruptly and dramatically and says he's a traitor and i will kill him race yeah she smiles a very grim smile at you. Looks around um, at all of you and says, Have Ashen, you... Ashen will say, look, we, we think he's telling us the truth, but we need to also bearing in mind that the source has his own motivations and um, that there may be shades of information yet to be discovered in this whole story. So, Keeper Xandar is nodding at that, as if, like, clinging on to one tiny bit of hope that maybe, you know, it's a lie. Rhea, meanwhile, is shaking her head, like, firmly, and saying, you do, no you do not know what happened to Elturel. If you did, you would see that this fits perfectly. She looks around we, will do, we will do the best we can to stop it, with any help you both can give. Uh, Keeper Xandar uh, looks at um, looks at Rare and says, uh, like, the glances at you, Ashen, and looks at Rare and says, I think perhaps first we should comprehend the scale of the problem, the magnitude of what will happen if we fail. Rare, tell these people what you have been telling in confidence the the medics you haven't heard this tale before hours uh, because over the last few days you've been so busy with everything that it hasn't percolated through to you what the refugees have been saying about what's happened to Elturel exactly but Rhea looks around at you all and says I was training a few no miles north of Elturel when the city vanished. It's gone. I saw the companion's light, uh, the sun that uh, hovers over Elturel that supposedly shields the city from the undead and evil. It went out and turned black, like the blackest night. When the city appeared to crumble, the walls Clasting down great towers, collapsing into the city, and sank uh, below the horizon, literally uh, into the ground. I uh, rushed to the city as fast as I could, riding my horse uh, to death. Um, but when I got there, there was a uh, just a crater. There wasn't even a hole. It was as if uh, something had uh, reached down and scooped up the city through its foundations into a into the palm of its hand, and then just taken it away. Uh, she looks at Auros and then Ashen and says, "I thought that the the corruption." 
and the disappearance of the companion's light meant that Lord Thavius, High Priest Thavius, had been slain. Because he was the personal tender of the light. He was the keeper of it. It was through his connection to Torm that the light was supposed to protect us. But if it is as your source says, then it was not that he was slain. It was that he corrupted it and allowed the city to be taken. And if that is the case, then, as I say, if I get the opportunity to, I will kill him. Rhea, by the way, just so you guys know, uh, she has a cloak uh, as well as her armor. Um, she's got this gloved hand. Uh, she has a, a long sword that looks like it's a bit, a bit too big for her. Um, but she is just a teenager. Like, she's a human teenager. She's like 18, maybe? Possibly 19. Um, but she has this look on her face that is like... Well, it's, it's murderous. <laughs> Literally... <laughs> literally murderous uh it's a perhaps for some of you maybe not all of you uh it's like a kind of disconcerting look to see on the face of one so very young well welcome aboard kid should be fun she clenches her jaw at the word fun but nods Xandar so, looks at the looks around at you and says, "You you spoke of a ritual and components for it. We are planning on hindering the ritual from being, uh, like, ended or cast or ritualized this night. Um, we found out that in the possession of the." Oldest brother, maybe? I don't know. First well is a infernal artifact um, described to us as some kind of box. And that might have something to do with the, uh, with the ritual in add-on to... I mean, offering sacrificing all the souls in the city that is not really um, a part of the ritual we can just make disappear in a few hours um uh, as, oh. as you're saying this xandar has produced a a tome of forbidden law a grimoire that he happens to have on him rather than needing to go back to the library he has like a backpack on him at all times Alros like he carries these books around because they're safer with him than they are anywhere else um and he starts flicking through them and says uh the codicil Malus malaceum speaks of such boxes oh, flicks to a page here uh airtight interlocking parts made of infernal iron it's It'll be... His hand is slightly trembling. Looking at Elizabeth. You speak of not being able to stop it. Or make it go away, but... It will likely... Be a, a box designed to contain... Whatever contract... The Van Thampers have with Zariel. It will contain a sigil or a token of her... Esteem... If you can get into the box, then... Well, uh, you could destroy the contract. Mm, stealing a box doesn't sound too hard. I might... Opening it might be, though, as you described, but... He, he nods and says, yes, uh, I... Unless he's... the bo Such boxes themselves have no outward protections typically 
uh, unless Thirstwell has put any extra ones on it. But getting into it will be the trick. They are impossible to open with magic. They are practically immune to all forms of damage, and they have a unique means of opening it. It's usually mundane, again, because it's immune or impervious to most magic, but at the same time, difficult to figure out. Depends on how fiendish the mind is that constructed it. So I would imagine that a contract with an archdevil is... difficult to access. So but hiding or taking it isn't enough? We have to open it and destroy what's inside? I don't know. It depends on the terms of the contract. If, if they need it as part of the ritual, if the presentation of the contract is important, then merely having it may be enough. But if it is more a, a, a reflection of what Zariel has promised them, then you would need to destroy it. At, at the worst, bringing it here and allowing me to examine it could perhaps let me tell you more. It may not be possible to force it open with magic, but I might be able to divine something about the nature of the contents. Unless it is protected against that as well. I mean, sounds like the best start. Also, the Amrik. He mentioned something about a doctor in between the prisoners that his mother has. A doctor? Dr. Fisk, if that name he blinks yeah he does recognize it almost instantly mm. um suggesting that the man might be famous in scholarly circles you think um, mm. dr fisk he might be help you couldn't possibly be philaster fisk uh yeah sure yes he would be um uh, he would be extremely helpful. He is a uh, a, a, a pit touched, a, a fiend born, a tiefling like yourself, gesturing at Ashen, and he is a, a an expert on uh, the nine hells. Um, that would explain a lot, including how they were able to even contact Zariel in the first place to make this contract. Uh, Philaster is a, a prodi well, he's a prodigy. I have, not in this bag, but in my library there are books written by him. He is a, a, a remarkable mind and knows much of the, the Hells. Um, he works with an even, uh, an even more intelligent sage, a, a lady known as Silvera Savicas. One of the sages of Candlekeep. Um, uh, they both know much of fiendish law. Yeah, I mean, we don't know if she's uh, one of the prisoners, but uh, at least getting Fisk out of there would be help to opening the box, maybe. Yes, yes. Uh, Xandar looks quite excited. If anyone can open this box, it, it would be it would be him. Uh, aside from a devil, perhaps. He he, he laughs like, ha 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 ha! It's not like we're going to use a devil for it though. Lol 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 lol. None of us know any of those yeah. anyway, right? Ah ha ha yeah. ha 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 ha. No. Uh, so I think these are the best uh, hints we have concerning the ritual. He nods. What's our plan then? That's get a... the box. Get the box. It should be a soul. <laughs> yeah, but songs make it sound too easy, I think. So get the box and um, get Fisk. If, if we can. Yeah. Well, we need to dispose of everyone. We can't let the mother live. 
She'll just do it again? Xander. Yes, oh, but it'll take her time. It'll, it'll take her time. Yeah, Xander looks smartly at, um, uh, quickly at, at, at uh, Loki and says, well, you can't possibly be proposing that you go in there and just... Killing the heretic is one thing, gesturing toward Rhea, but uh, Lady Van Thamper is a citizen of Baldur's Gate. She... She is has, orchestrating it. She has rights to a trial. Yeah, but if we have to do she it in self-defense... Of course, if you were forced to defend yourself, that would be different, but... Uh, you, you can't just go in there and murder her. Who would do such a thing? Agree. However, what would you suggest we do if we confirm that she is necessary for the as part of the contract for it to happen? Ooh. That's a good question. And Xandor, Xandar is uh, just spuck, struck momentarily speechless. And you can tell that he doesn't know. Because on the one hand, killing her uh, may well be the only way to end the ritual and prevent Baldur's Gate from being destroyed, but on the other hand, unlike Thavius, who he can who you guys can clearly see uh he believes deserves no less than immediate death, um it clearly doesn't sit right with him, the idea of going in and murdering um, one of the dukes, uh, even if... Yeah, come on. One human against how many humans are in Baldur's Gate currently? Man, the, the way you, all of you think sometimes, like, it just... This is this is more of a rhetorical yeah. question out loud, but, um, I mean, it, is she important because she's a duke? I mean, the cultists were all no. citizens of Baldur's Gate as well. They didn't have a trial. So, so a classist thing. Xander <laughs> uh, <laughs> Zan Zan looks awkward um, and says, uh, "No, it, it's not." He he. Because she holds power and sway, isn't it? No, it's it's it is not that. It is just uh, he he looks at Tor uh, Aros uh, like uh, in response to you and says. Uh, uh, de almost desperately, and says, "We believe in things, <laughs> law and order. I know we are not Hellmites, yeah. but <sighs> if we could, if we, we it's we, it's not we the do power. believe in those things. If but... we just uh, topple people in office, our our duty is to protect and seek out corruption and protect against it." Of course it this is. Seems like ultimate corruption to me. Yes, but <sighs> why are you defending her? I'm not. I worry about the historical precedent. Mm. But the, the thing. Listen, we we get where you're coming. I I understand where you're coming from, obviously. But um, again, it was more of a rhetorical question. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're Let's not going to kill her without the time. evidence to yeah. do it. Uh, so. We never. Uh, of, of course, he looks very disturbed. But he 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 looks at Auros again and again desperately, and he says, "I, I know that you will not do anything that you should not, Auros. I I trust. I trust your faith in this matter, perhaps more than I trust my own." But there will be ramifications if the Duchess is killed, regardless of if it is to save the city. There may be ramifications we have to deal with, but they won't be good. If we, if we, worse than going to hell. No, but still not good. What we need to do is stop the city from going to hell tonight. He yes. Knows. And if we can be sure that getting the, the Infernal Bot and Fisk will do that, um, 
but we also need to wonder what are the forces that will be arrayed against us if we bring those here yeah so that's the other thing um which leads Raya to sort of speak up and says and that's why more than anything else we're going to have to kill the duchess he looks at she looks she looks at um Xandar don't you see if we don't we'll endanger the people here and he just sort of puts his head in his hands I feel like she should be in charge. At least yeah, she's I'm making listening. sense. Listen, yeah, there there will be political ramifications, but we're we're on a timetable here. That we have we have to do something now. There is no yep, politics without lives. He nods reluctantly. Then let me aid you at least in part. Uh, and he will uh, cast aid uh, twice, uh, speaking words of power from the books on each of you, including Rhea and Vincent. And I will pray for your safe return. Oh, hmm, just thinks, looks at Auros and says, You may wish to visit the armory. I don't think we have many of them, but there are, um, there are silvered weapons there. Yes. You may, you may need them if you encounter devils. Uh. Thank you, Keeper. He nods. So is that 10 extra temporary hit points? Is that it's a uh, five extra temporary. Uh, well, it, it it's a bit it's a bit better than temporary hit points. It um it increases your hit point maximum and current by five. But you said twice. I thought you said oh. Cast so he he's five. casting it at second level twice, as in it only targets three people. Um, so he oh, he, he casts yeah. it on Alros, Asher, and Elizabeth, and then he casts it on. Um, Loki, Vincent, and Rhea. And oh, okay, he, ca he cast that at a second level. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Took me a second. I yeah. <laughs> uh, he he would cast it at a third level, but based on what you're saying, it sounds like there's a as in to increase the number of hit points. Uh, but based on what you're saying, it sounds like there's a chance that you guys might be bringing trouble back here. So he is saving his third level. I'm not gonna lie for spirit guardians, <laughs> just in case there's like a you know a big a big uh, uh, sort of assault on the temple or something by demons. So so, so but it only increases our maximum hit points. For eight hours, is that right? Yes, although yeah. given your time frame, that will be exactly long enough. Yes, but right. So I'm gonna go check out the free stuff in the armory. Yeah, go ahead and roll me a D four. Oh no, it's Ken rolling the D four. Oh no. Nice. It's only in, in oh. combat. So, ah, yeah. yeah so, no. Almost. <laughs> yeah, no, you, I tell a lie. Okay, so there are four silvered weapons uh, in the armory. Um, there is a dagger, there is a long sword, uh, there is a mace, and there is a great sword. Uh, I'm going to take the great sword if I can. Seems legit. Dagger, please. Feels like you and Elizabeth fight over that one. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm good. I have my rape here. Ah right, um, yeah. That's why I asked. Yeah. Uh so there there's still a longsword and a mace. I don't know if anybody Does wants to see that. Ray, I mean, is Ray Ray is coming, right? Does she need one? She is, and she will take the longsword if no one else wants it. Yeah. Oh, she can have it. Uh, I guess Loki uses scimitars, right? Uh, I've got two masterwork rapiers. Ah, right. Uh, 
Um, there isn't a rapier, unfortunately. The Torm Tars don't really use finesse weapons in general, uh, aside from daggers occasionally. Can I go get it silvered before you we... You could, yeah. Uh, it costs 100 gold to get it silvered. No, you That's all right. Okay. Um, in which case, if no one else takes the mace, um, Rhea will take the mace as well. Uh, like... Uh, like Ash and she dual wields, it looks like. So. Okay. Um. Do I, you go, do girl. I know, like, or could I? Sorry. <laughs> no, that's no, no, fine. I didn't want. To. Sorry, I, I was just gonna say, do I do I know, or if I don't, can I ask uh, the the keeper if is holy water effective against devils? Yeah. Yes. 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 It burns fiends as well as the other. Land. Uh, and you know, if take, uh, he sort of just like uh, instructs you to take as much as you need from the the font in the temple. It weighs one pound, um, and I have. <laughs> uh, you can get pretty much as many vials as you. Go ahead and roll me a d twenty. Okay, you can collect eleven flasks of it, basically. Just by like, scrounging, scrounging all of the flasks, skins, bottles, whatever to hand, you have eleven flasks of it. Yeah, so I, I'm going to personally keep five, and then if anybody else wants the other six, or if we want to divvy them up, um, at least one each would be a bad idea, mate. Or... Yeah, no, I agree. Um, and then Vincent will take the second one, just because he's more likely to be in a position where he has a hand free to throw it. Okay. Um, uh, I think also uh, in the in the meantime, as you're going to the armory and scrap, pardon me, as you're going to the armory and um, uh, finding like weapons and holy water, pouring holy water into bottles, um, the keeper will come back and uh, thrust uh, four scrolls into your hands, Aros. Um, three of them appear to be of cure wounds, and one of them uh, is of prayer of healing. Oh, nice. These are the remaining emergency scrolls. You don't need to use them, obviously don't, but I think you need them. I wish I could do more to help. Thank you. I think you've done quite enough, Keeper. Thank you. Uh, he, he very quietly, trying to make it so only you hear this, says, Do you want me to tell the others? And he looks like he really <sighs> doesn't even envy this job. He will, he will absolutely wait for you to come back to tell them yourself if you want to, but he, he will if you think it's best. I think we should keep it to ourselves for the time being. Once we have proof, uh, we can discuss that then. He nods. I will not lie to them. So unless they ask me. And I will try to avoid talking to the high priest. But if he does, then I will have to tell him. You understand. I, I do, but I would trust that you only tell him if you think he can be trusted. He grimaces, nods, and you can tell that he hates the thought in the first place. But that he recognizes the wisdom of it. I will try to trace the records of where our pilgrims have come from and work out whom is more or less affiliated with the church of Elturel. While you are gone. Yes, I think that's wise. Thank you again. 
He nods. He looks like he really wants to ask you, do you really believe this? But he doesn't, because you clearly do, and he knows that he's more wanting to ask that question for himself, hoping that you'd be like, nope, this is actually a joke. Ha 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 ha. It's all part of my vast, uh, you know, convert everybody to Torm. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he really, he knows it isn't, uh, but he really, really wishes it was. But yeah, so that's, that's all he can do for you. Oh, aside from scrounging up some acolyte costumes, if you want to disguise yourself leaving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll um, just throw on, like, a, a robe over what I have on currently, if I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's I imagine that's pretty much what you're all doing. Uh, aside from, Elizabeth, are you using your disguise kit to try and make it more convincing? Yeah. I'll get rid of my Elizabeth disguise, too. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, so what, what do you look yeah. like now to the party? Again, like, um... My my sicklish like look as I maybe I don't know go to the bathroom for a second or so my my skin that's like full on white and those like eye bags those deep bags that I had I am they're just all gone my my skin is more of a brown tone now it still has this weird texture thing to it but uh, there's a slight orange like shine to my skin like like from copper like this red orangey shine and. Yeah, I'll just, uh, you know, make my hairstyle a little bit more practical, I guess. Um, don't look as weak and sick and ladylike as before, but, yeah. Speaking of which, um, uh, your disguise, uh, the what you have told the Keeper seems to have, at least momentarily, completely driven any thoughts of confronting you about your previous disguise out of his head it's uh yeah i'm just ignoring that he right yeah, yeah, yeah. you know i'm not going to ask him about it no like no, i'll he... just leave if he doesn't say anything he, he doesn't he doesn't unless someone prompts him to he he absolutely uh is very distracted by this that he he that that's a minor thing in comparison Yeah, okay, in which case, um, Elizabeth with advantage because of people helping you give me a disguise chick a disguise kit roll to see how well you disguise everybody. Yep. Um probably Aros helping you to sort of point out, nope, you don't wear the purity seal upside down, sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um So should I still roll with charisma then? Or uh you could roll with either charisma or dexterity for this one. Just okay, yeah. make everyone else look sick now. Lol. <laughs> like sick yeah. book reading nerds. <laughs> like Alros is. <laughs> yes. Ah yes, Alros. Uh, the uh the renowned book nerd. Right, Alros? Yes. <laughs> didn't didn't know who Bane was. Love those books. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but pale as if they don't see enough sunlight I think is probably uh, very much the case yeah, of a lot of Tauntars even even the Tauntars being more active in the community have uh, that sort of clerical look uh, yeah and you you pull it off uh, you guys leave um, but uh, Vincent tells you after a few moments they're not following I think it worked So, That's in, good. as we make our way that way, um, I do want to sidle up next to Elizabeth. Um, and just say, so you're not Lady One Word. Uh, there's a lot to unpack there. I don't know if we should do that now, but uh, what should we call you then? I'll stick with the name. Kind of like it. I guess. Did you kill her? Why do you ask that? Because you were disguising yourself as her and 
uh, I don't remember she if I walked her back to the bakery or not at any yeah, point. Okay. And I mean, she could have also have disappeared. Living there. Why she, do she you could think have... I killed her? I don't think that I was asking. Now I think you did, but before I was just asking. I did not kill her. I just made her life a little bit less miserable. Can I... Do I believe that? You are more than welcome to roll insight. Yeah. And, um, uh, Elizabeth, if you need to roll a charisma check, you can roll it up. You don't have to. I mean, that's what I believe, what I say. You can think whatever you want from that. Um, oh my god, our rolls. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> only, only in combat, huh? <laughs> she, she was very oh, So you helped make her, yeah. I, I've I've heard kind that of you know, in the south pity. it's it's a lot nicer down there and people tend to recover, you know, when they're closer to the sea. So you must have sent her down there. And then I guess I just walk on whistling perfectly content, like a dumbass. <laughs> you know, I just thought um I might give her name a little bit more of substance and something to remember to except for she's that sick young lady, you know, laying around the bed. Felt very bad for her. And especially that thing with her husband just falling down the stairs that was that was tragic terrible she just she just felt even worse and when the gardener tripped on fell on her own shears that was that was awful <laughs> whoa yeah that that sounds terrible I'm sorry you had to deal with all that as well oh, that's fine what don't you do for friends this all seems perfectly convincing to you, Arles. Yeah, you obviously wouldn't murder a friend, she just called her a friend. Right. Can right. any of us others hear this conversation? Uh, I be? would imagine this conversation is being done. Yeah. Quite... Oh, okay. I'm rolling the fuck uh, out no, of it. No, I was going to say it was being done quietly oh, and oh, Aros oh. wasn't confronting you in front of everyone else. But but yeah, I mean, if, if Aros is, is, is indeed doing that, then... I. My my intention was to be quiet about it, but okay. it, again, we're with the group, kind of walking together. I assume so. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. If yeah, anyone, who, if, as long as both of them are happy with it, uh, you guys can uh, absolutely uh, roll insight to contest that. I mean, I've never, I've not heard from her in quite a while, though. <laughs> Should go and check on her if this goes right. She decided. and if not, I'm happy to have saved her before this goes to hell. <laughs> Al Ross, he believes because Al Ross believes he believes. Makes sense. Uh, and Loki, uh, you have no evidence either way, so maybe. Sounds dubious, but maybe. And mm, fishy. Vincent, I know he's not here, but you know, yeah, you can at yeah, least let him yeah. know he, if he. he I, th I, th I think he, I think he, I think he, I think he would roll insight. So let me just roll it for him. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Vincent just uh, he he frowns, but he doesn't say anything. I think I don't even know, like in character, if Vincent likes me or not. I don't know. I think I'm a little bit. Hmm. The big shrugs. <laughs> uh, yeah. He, he 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 looks he frowns and looks cautious. Um. Yeah. Uh. But yeah. Okay. So. Um. Uh, are you guys doing anything else, or saying anything else, or buying anything else before you head to the Van Thampa Villa? I just wanted to ask. You said there were three scrolls of cure wounds, and what the fourth scroll was? Yes. Uh, so there, there are three scrolls of cure wounds. One at first level, one at second level, and one at third level. And there is a scroll of prayer of healing. The, the yeah. sort of short duration mass group heal. Well. Yep. Thank you. Yep. No worries. So I could cast. The first 
level scrolls, and I've got two first level cure wounds as well. But only Alros and I can cast them, is that right? Uh, yes, unless um, uh, Loki or Elizabeth have gotten spell lists that I am unaware of recently. So, I don't do magic. I mean a bit, but like. Ma magic is for squares? <laughs> nah, not. So I'll, I'll just make sure I know where they are now, just in case. In case he goes down, like he seems to. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh... Can everybody use spell scrolls? I forgot. So, yeah, that's why I was asking, because uh, you need to have a class spell list and for the spell to be on your list. There are, separately, <laughs> this, this is going to sound confusing, there are spell scrolls and there are magic scrolls. Theoretically, anybody can use a magic scroll if they roll a good enough arcana check. And they, they tend to be things like scrolls of protection, for instance, or scrolls of plot magic. People can use scrolls of plot magic. But uh, yeah. a spell scroll specifically, you need to be able to cast spells and have that spell um, on your list. Uh, that includes um, spells you get from your race or lineage, though. So if you have a spell from your race or lineage, any of you, um, you can theoretically use scrolls of that. So, like, it's a really bad scroll to have. Tieflings could use scrolls of Hellish Rebuke, for instance, if they have Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Darkness, or Thaumaturgy, yeah. that sort of thing. Because I got my wings instead. So. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so um, like I say, uh, are you guys? Uh, that's what those are the scrolls. Uh, are you buying anything else? Uh, are you saying anything else to each other before you approach the villa? And last question before I move you to the map so I can position you properly: How are you approaching the villa? Are you approaching yeah. in the acolyte disguise, and from what angle? Yes. Bring out you did. Oh uh, uh, yeah, you can grab a cart if you want to and be the 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 the. Uh, local uh, play corpse carriers, if you want to try that. I think we're just going to let Vincent try to use his writ or whatever to get us past the guard, the, the watch, and then right. once we're inside, we can ditch the costumes. Maybe that we have business with... What does... Um... No, I forgot his name. Like... The brother with the box. Oh my god. It's okay. Wait. First well. well. Yes. Um what yes, I've notes. Yeah. What does a uh, first well um do? Like does he also have shady business like his brother uh, or let me check, but I believe he's a scholar. So very shady, obviously. Um hang on. Thirst well, thirst well, thirst well. Uh, I was just thinking maybe that could give us like a reason to talk to him, like sure, yeah. Why we need you? You know, just like going there, like hey, let us in is kind of weird. So maybe we need uh, yeah, so a little bit of a story there. <laughs> so, so he well, he's whole... he's known as uh, just so you know. Obviously, like you can decide whether or not you're using this, but um, he is known as both um, a scholar of historical law in the city like he's he's a historian um and uh also um as like a he's the most political aside from the duchess herself of the van tampa family there isn't really exactly a politician career or class in boulders gate but there are patriarchs who are essentially politicians in their spare time and he is one of those people. He gives speeches, he glad hands, he does the business of the family that involves smiling and kissing babies. That's that's Thurswell's job. Mm, with his... Okay, yeah, I mean... I know, but apparently that is... Pretty is best to do it. <laughs> a a Amric, Amric is being apparently groomed as the successor for the Van Thamper family, probably because of his charisma. Um, and because his mother likes him more, as Mortlock indicated, Thurswell is 
nevertheless, apparently, the political face of the family. The big shrugs. Maybe it's because Amrik does crime. So what would be our reasoning? Or like... I don't... Well, I think to the watch, our, our reasoning is... Uh, stand, stand Vincent. Aside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're... Vincent's here to do an investigation and we're assisting. To the watch, I mean, that's what he's hired for. The, there wouldn't really be another reason for Vincent to be there, right? Vincent... Right, Vincent? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Vincent slightly awkwardly says, Right. Yes. There are no other ways that that encounter will go. Yes. We'll be fine. Got the paperwork. Like last time. Or we can go in through the stables, but then we'd have to go through the dungeon to get to through the tunnels, yeah. whatever. Uh, to get uh, to the villa. I'm honestly in for getting as close to him as we can without having to fight. They said that um, Thirstwell would be in the uh, in the upper building anyway, more likely. Yeah. So we're going to have to get in one way or the other. Yeah. But let's try official yeah. door first. <laughs> Could we say we had a message from the temple for him? I mean, you couldn't Maybe, say anything but do we like. need you, you look five like... or six people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and a dog. Very <laughs> urgent information about his mother we have to talk to him about. We will get suspicious and want to talk to us. Or a request from the temple, and we've all been sent to show how highly the temple thinks of the family and him. <laughs> we think so highly of you who <laughs> sent these. Um, I mean, my deception is good, though. Yeah, I could uh, help you with that. Yeah. Uh, Vince is like, really? oh. I think these are things we can say to any internal guards, but I still think going with the watch plan and my documents is best yeah. for the, you know, the separate people. Yeah, Speaking yeah sounds good. I'm, I'm in for the watch plan. Okay. So, uh, when you guys get close enough to the villa, um, Vincent strides towards a nearby patrol between you and, like, the... Well, there's not really a fence. There are just roads around the villa. Uh, the villa itself is walled. Um, let me get a description up. You can probably see it from here, even if you can't. So it's located in the upper city. Uh, the roads around it are heavily patrolled by the watch. Um, and uh, about the villa. It's a stately stone edifice with a detached stable house. Um, both buildings have sloped roofs uh, covered in red clay tiles. There's a 12 foot high stone wall that encloses the villa. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's not dusk yet, so, uh, there are lanterns hung along the wall's interior, but they're not lit currently, because it's still daytime. Um, there are three wooden gates, uh, you can see the main entrance from where you are currently. There's a coach gate, um, to the south, and, uh, if you walk around the perimeter after you, um, uh, after you get past the, the watch that you're about to confront or talk to, uh, you may or may not be able to find other gates as well. Um, yeah, so there are wooden doors. Uh, you can't see the windows from here. Uh, it looks like it is a villa, so like it's like a single story sort of building, and then maybe this dungeon underneath it. Uh, the walls are taller uh, than anything aside from the roof. Um, yeah, that's what you can see currently and yeah there's this patrol of watchmen uh, i'm gonna put you on the map but just outside the villa because it's basically what you can see anyway uh it's mostly just a wall we yeah there's a patrol of um, watchmen uh, sort of like uh coming down the street towards you and uh vincent looks at you all and says anything else I mean, do we leave the costumes on? Uh, 
at least we should maybe because acolytes as the watch. I don't know if that makes sense, but I was going to say that we were masquerading as them to get inside the building because that's what we're doing anyway. I'm going to cast guidance on Vincent. Yep, good idea. Hmm? In fact, he says the code word. Meanwhile, it's absolutely a time that he he wants the guidance. And you know what? Then I'm going to cast it on everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> it breaking the concentration of the first one, so you you go around casting it on people, <laughs> and then get back to Vincent and cast it on him again. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, he'll, he, he'll look at Elizabeth and be like, unless you think I should take it off? Nope, let's do it. Oh, no, it's good. I'll shrug my shoulder. Okay. Uh, Just I, go for it. He, he throws the hood back. And again, suddenly it's Vincent there, rather than an acolyte. Oh my god. Uh, it's amazing. And uh, strides boldly towards the Watchman. Watchman! Uh, my name is Detective Silvermane. Holding up the piece of paper in much the same way that he did in the uh, uh, the Low Lantern, but hopefully more successfully this time. Um, I am here uh, on the orders of... Uh, the uh, internal affairs branch of the watch uh, to investigate uh, both your guarding and also uh, the internal defenses of this residence of great importance to the city. Uh, the watchmen look at each other, each other both confused. You hear one of them mutter, oh, nobody told me about a surprise inspection. Yes, that is what this is, says Vincent. Uh, and we will need to inspect the interior of the walls. Uh, kindly go and uh, open the gates for us, uh, so that we can uh, access the villa. They look suspicious. And let's find out if Vincent has any charisma skills. Specifically the inside of the walls. <laughs> That's like... <laughs> also, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yes. Specifically, we need you to unlock all the doors. No, he doesn't say that. Um, okay, so he doesn't have deception. Um, does he have persuasion? Nope. Does he have intimidation? No. Okay, well, this is going to go well. Uh, he does have a D4 and advantage from his documents. So we'll see. 17 or... Four. Okay, well, we'll take the 17. Um, then he has a d4. Alright, well, it is possible for these lowly guards to potentially see through this ruse, albeit somewhat unlikely at this point. So, let's find out. Uh, they get a perception check against his documents as well. So, uh, insight and then perception. I rolled Wister. They rolled a 12 and a 14. Um, sorry, go ahead. No, I want to say he should just do it like really quick, like show and like close it again. Yeah, like, that, that is literally what he's, like, he's like, He like waves it in their face yeah. so they can see the official seal and then puts it away inside of his jacket before they can read it. Um, yeah. And uh, they uh, blink and uh, you hear another of them say, oh, it's more than our money's worth to stop this kind of thing. Um, and yeah, they uh, scramble to uh, go and open the front gates for you. Nice. Vincent walks back to you, uh, and what, what, while they're sort of opening the front gates, uh, says uh, with a, a sort of affected um, confidence that uh, isn't really belied, isn't really sort of uh, shown by his behavior. Uh, see, nothing to it. Went fine. Yeah, you're, you're getting a hang of it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks awkward. Getting better with those papers. P looks pointedly <laughs> at you. Uh, but yeah, so they'll uh, uh, these these doors. Uh, they will open them for you, and then go back on patrol when Vincent sends them back on patrol. So we go when. 
I guess. I, I guess we don't know where um, Thirstwell is inside of the house because they just told us the way like to the underground thing. Yeah, it's, I mean, let's go in and start inspecting. That's what we told them we were doing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's inspect. Maybe we will find a door. Okay. Going in behind you, he's gonna also um, make sure to put uh, send send Fen send, uh, no actually no Fennel's Fennel's quite a good part of the disguise actually I don't want Fennel to die though no he he has him on a leash and he's clearly using him to like sniff out stuff um, Rhea just sort of looks at you all as if you're all crazy and uh, mutters to uh, Alros says is it always like this working with outsiders y yeah. Oh. Huh. Oh. Uh, but yeah, so you stride into the yard of the Van Thampa Villa. Um, so uh, the inside of this place is lovely. Um, it's got um, like ornamental trees, uh, a uh, orange gravel, uh, like sandy, like it's like almost like salt colored gravel path. Um, this beautiful sort of uh, portico uh, with uh, ionic columns uh, holding up like a, a low lean-to roof. Um, this is the stable house over here, this building. Uh, the doors over here and windows. Um, they are lead-lined, it looks like, and shuttered. Likewise, uh, the windows of the actual house itself are... Um, they have like a, both shutters and also uh, one of them that's slightly open. You can see like lead bars across them. Uh, any of you want to can give me a arcana check. An arcana check. <laughs> Should have read those books, Auros. Wow. I think he just skipped on some lessons. I, I think he was too busy was like battle trading. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ashen, are you rolling up? Uh, Phil? Sorry. Did you want um, to roll Arcana? Yeah. I've lost my page. So oh, no worries, no worries. Ooh, new art. Uh, Marie. Yeah, I just saw that. Cool. I'll make a token yeah. for that uh, for next week. Um, yeah, uh, so Aros, you've no idea what lead means in this case. Um, Ashen, you remember that um, lead often protects against quite a few types of divination. It's entirely possible the yeah. walls are lead-lined as well to protect people from finding out what's going on inside of her. Which I'll quietly mention to the others. Sure. Um, Which means no one is going to see that we're stealing stuff magically inside. I mean, yeah, no one's going to divine that you're stealing stuff, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, so there's uh, an entrance over here, uh, various windows around the building um, that looks like the front entrance, essentially. Uh, but also... Uh, or oh, well, no, actually, it looks like the back entrance. Actually, uh, you 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 actually come around the back rather than the front. Um, but also, your passive perceptions, you can hear um, the sounds of people walking around the building towards you. Maybe in like guards on the interior. Two or three. Yeah, we are allowed to be here, so. Nothing to worry about. Uh, do, I, did I we guess... know? Did we know if the internal guards were different than the external guards? I got. I know the external guards are the city watch, right? Is that the yeah. same? It's not like private security. Uh, they hire off for the inside or it, anything. It might be private security for the internal guard. You don't know. Does anything look particularly flammable? The ornamental trees and the lawn. I mean, about the building. Oh, um, it's stone, 
not really. I mean, it, it will burn, but it's not like extra special flammable. Pretty sure they have nice tapestry inside that we could. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Burn. Tapestries, um, uh, or, or ornamental plant sort of arrangements, uh, yeah. all sorts of things to burn inside, but outside, not so much. <laughs> well, then. I mean, uh... okay, I'll follow Elizabeth. Are you just walking? Around? I don't know where the main entrance is. I was just oh, like okay. thinking so, it might be here. Yeah, so there's a there's a there's an entrance here. A single door here that looks like it might be a back entrance like a servant's entrance maybe um and a road that goes around the building maybe to the front entrance mm -hmm. um the people are coming around from this side basically i suppose um the last sort of decision you have to make today is do you guys want to quickly steal across to the servant's entrance and try and like sneak into the building or do you want to wait for the guards and sort of talk to them uh, as they come around like try and bluff way in time bluff your way inside essentially maybe we just had to bluff i'm all for let's just try yeah. to avoid contact with people as much as possible make you sneak know. yeah I'd, I'd like to check the door if it's okay open or uh i think that one is open but as you go to check that that is where we're going to leave it today. Okay. <laughs> As you have entered the grounds of the Van Thampa Villa, here, to one way or another, try and avoid Alder's Gate going to hell. Uh, finally, before we finish today, let's check what? I believe at this point you level up. We should be level. Yeah. yeah. Level up. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna need it. <laughs> As usual. But yeah, so level four. That's not ominous. Uh, no, it should be. Um, you're going to the heart of evil. Uh, so, oh my god, uh, oh you took average, okay, good, 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 thumbs up, thumbs up, don't, don't roll like crazy people, don't be mad man, um, why not, shaking my head, shaking, look, looks at Elizabeth's hit might, points, <laughs> yeah, I might finally have over 20 hit points, let's see, let's go, I'll keep rolling, because no. why the fuck not, now I already, I already <laughs> fucked up, like, <laughs> Oh, I suppose keep rolling until you. Oh, oh that's yeah. Hey, that's yes. decent. Uh, I have twenty hit points. You have now. exactly twenty hit points now. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yes. Oh no, plus my con. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's true. Is. Uh, is is your con positive? But I maybe. Let's find out. <laughs> I think it's not negative. I'm in the like. Uh... Okay. Well, like I said. <gasps> Uh, level up for next week, guys. Um, have a good week. Stay safe. And we will be back to descend into the Van Thampa Villa, confront Thirstwell and Thalamra, and attempt to stop Baldur's Gate literally going to hell, because otherwise Baldur's Gate 3 will have significant difficulty in happening. Um, next week on Descent into Avernus. Bye for now. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.